And right back down the other side How far will you go With no guarantee you know Hello. How are we all doing? Hola. Welcome Hello. to the midweek show. Just in time for the Emirates A380 departure. Great timing. Welcome everybody to the midweek madness show here live from Manchester Airport. Uh, yeah, a few people saying late. Guys, it's three minutes past ten, man. Give us a break, will you? Jeez. Late. I, I, I'll, I'll let you do late for maybe, what should we say, Andy? Six minutes? Is that okay. fair? Okay. Is that fair? <laughs> Here we go. Emirates A380 just been pushed back. Great way to kick the show off. I'm back as well. Hey. Good to be back in the UK. Sunny UK, right? Yeah. At least you brought a little bit of sun back with you, which is lovely. Mm, we yeah. got half of Matt. Why can I? Why can Hiya. I? Why is the music playing? Oh, I know why. Stand by, Matt. I think I think YouTube is playing on my phone. It is, and that's why we can hear it. Stand by, guys. We have half of Matt. Okay. Here we go. Let's try again. <laughs> Matt Hiya. is here in spirit at the moment because because of the power of the internet. <laughs> I've logged on to uh, do my usual bits and bobs, and Matt's unit has disappeared from our dashboard. And uh, I'm Absolutely currently well. raised a support ticket to try and get it back. So hopefully we can get that back within uh, within the next sort of half an hour or so. <laughs> if I can't get Matt's unit back on my dashboard so I can make it go live um, within, let's say, what do you reckon, Matt, half an hour, 45 minutes? Do you want to pull your thing? Give me 45 minutes, mate, at least. Yeah, at least you can have a you can have a chill and you can just enjoy the planes over there for a bit, mate. But uh, yeah, I am doing my very best to get Matt Cam online. He is Southside, everything's set up and ready. But like I say, unfortunately, I can't see his device at the moment, so we're trying to fix it. But we're here, of course, in 4K from the RVP, bringing you all the aviation action until one o'clock today. Yep, got a love time to A321 Neo kicking the show off today as well. 
Looking beautiful. And we're looking forward to uh, getting back to the office this afternoon to uh, finish the edit on quite a cool video. I think you got a little teaser of it um, if you've seen our latest short on YouTube. Oh, yes. But, uh, yes, we were over on Southside yesterday uh, catching some glorious, glorious, super slow-mo touchdowns of the heavies, guys. And... Um, we're pretty hyped to get that video out. It was good fun. I had a good laugh. We've done a little behind-the-scenes video for our VIPs as well. So uh, keep your eye open on our YouTube channel. Hopefully, we can get that out to you today. As I say, we're going to wrap the show at 1, get back to the office, and uh, try and get that edited up in time uh, to release later on this evening. But we'll see. If it's not ready, we'll just wait till tomorrow. Just waiting for the taxi now of the Emirates A380 heading back to Dubai. And uh, Hayden, thank you very much for the £2 super chat saying good morning, Busters. Have a great stream, lads. Thank you very much, dude. Doing our best. Morning, Hayden. Hope you're well. And uh, massive thank you also to some bloke who supports a lot with the £3.80 super chat saying for the Emirates, 3 p.m. Uh, sorry, 3p for the three minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> These doctors free pee. Fair enough. I'll allow I'll, I'll, that. But yes, that's that's why we were a whole three minutes late because I was trying to find Matt. He is somewhere. Maybe he's on somebody else's dashboard. We'll find him eventually. But there um, it is. I'm going to say 80 on the taxi out. Yeah, now taxi and out. Look at that beautiful king of the skies to kick today's show off. How is everyone doing this morning, by the way? I've missed being here. Last show was uh, another Midweek Madness episode. Today, using dual runway ops for the full length of today's live stream. Yes. And they're on two threes as well. So, going to get some awesome arrival action here from the Runway Visitor Park. Taxiing, departures, you name it. And Terry, thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership to the community. Thank you very much, mate. That's gone to Ray K. Welcome if you're watching on Twitch as well. Hope you're all doing well. Does Matthew have a... Uh, do you have an SD card in your camera, Matt? I don't know. You don't? Okay. All right, well, we'll... Uh, that's something we can fix for next time. If this is to happen again, we can record and play back later. Yeah, we can record and stuff. Yeah, correct. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All good. No worries. There's Emirates A380 on the taxi out to runway two. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely if it just appeared in the dashboard now? Should I give it a refresh? No. <laughs> <Never mind. coughs> Welcome in Twitch crew. Sonny, hope you're doing well. Cool borders. Hello. Hello, hello. John Thackeray, good morning. Welcome and, to everyone uh, playing bingo as well. Yes. See the links getting put in the YouTube chat already. Get yourself involved. Who enjoyed the uh, Super Sunday show, guys? If you tuned in, we had uh, Mr. Charlie P uh, with us on Sunday, which was which was good fun. Not seen him in a while, and um, he had a little go on the camera as well, and kind of took us all by surprise. But uh, yeah, it was a good good show. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. A natural on the camera. Yeah, he's. Uh... We think he's, he's been practicing. <laughs> Super Daz, hello, welcome. Tina, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Tina's asking, how was your holiday? I'll get into that. After the A380, I think. Thank you, Tina, for asking. A little break away. Only three nights, but... Enjoyed it. A G and A320 Neo also touching down as well. Beautiful scheme on this. I'm a big fan of the Aegean colours. Obviously Greek airline.
Sounding great with those Pratt and Whitney's on board. Really good. Nice pair of Wookiees. We might have to get a Pratt and Whitney poster for the office, I think. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Here we go. Emirates 83 now rolling. We are fortunate with the elevated position here at the RVP. Let's be able to bring you that departure as well. Big shout out to the Aviation Society and the Runway Visitor Park for working with the channel to uh, bring you this location. Yeah, it's awesome. And there it goes. Emirates A380 as Beastie sends in a £5 super chat. Saying hi, guys. Looking forward to another great stream. Well worth uh, the three-minute wait. Perfect weather for plane spotting. Have a good one, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel as well. EasyJet in from one of the shortest routes they do. This is in from Newquay, down in Cornwall. And some blokes saying uh, Aegean's business class is awesome because he got a uh, an upgrade for 20 quid. Wow. So he gave it a try. Yo. Was that on one of the, one of the Neos? Wouldn't mind that. These are jetting from the UK. It's just a, uh, a short flight for that one. 200 miles. And for anyone uh, in the flights and community who has already uh, purchased the ATR, there's a very quick initial first impressions live on our channel now. Um, there's a few bugs, guys. <laughs> this is, to, to put it in a nutshell, there's a few bugs, mm. and hopefully they fix them pretty quickly. I think that's kind of, yeah, I mean... I know the Phoenix released per, like really, really well. I, I, I was really impressed with the Phoenix, but uh, and PMDG. But I don't know. There's a thing with flight sim at the minute where it's we'll release it and fix it later. Yeah, is uh, the way things are going, which I'm not a fan of. But uh, I was definitely really looking forward to the ATR. But I think I'm going to give it a few weeks and wait for some updates to come through before I get it for myself. But uh, I definitely will be getting it uh, once they sort it out because. Uh, yeah, I do love my uh, prop aircraft in the sim. It'd be great to uh, have an ATR in there as well, a new aircraft for me, so I'll be learning it from scratch. But if you want to see our uh, initial thoughts after today's stream, just head over to our YouTube channel. Dr. John's done a, uh, a quick video for you all on that. Yeah, great stuff. And just touching down from Lisbon, the TAP Air Portugal Embryo 190, 12 years old. And some bloke saying it was roads to Athens, just an hour's flight, uh, but stunning views of the Aegean Sea and the islands below. Nice, dude. Tobias, are you streaming until the next A380 arrives? Yes, we will be finishing today's stream at 1 p.m. I blame my dad. Hope you're feeling better soon, dude. Sounds weird, but like most of the time, I've completely forgotten about COVID. Like oh, yeah. completely. But people are still catching it, and it's still uh, it's still putting people uh, putting people back a week or two. Yeah, sounds like it. I know when I had it, it was uh, it definitely wasn't very nice. I think three weeks it took me to 
Get back to normal. Ryanair just touched down on 2-3 uh, right in from Faro to our 45 minute flight for that one and pinging up on the ground we have the Tui Dreamliner out to Cancun so a nice heavy departure coming up shortly a load of aircraft over on the south side as well waiting to take off got the Finnair Embraer heading back to Helinski and also got the uh, well, a gathering of the uh, low costers I know Jan's working and lurking today working and lurking Anybody else working and lurking, just put a quick emote in the chat just to just to let us know you, you're hearing us loud and clear. Hope your work days go well. Now right in there, 737-800 series heading off to Budapest. Have you uh, powered the solo up this week? I have. Oh. It is on. Buzzing. Yeah, it'd be nice for at least one of them to, to be on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, still no response from uh, the powers that be yet. I did mark the ticket as urgent. They're usually uh, pretty good. I must say the support from this company is, has always been fantastic. So we'll be uh, we'll be patient. Hopefully, I've Matt with you soon. How's things with you anyway, Matt? What have you been up to, big man? Uh, so um, obviously, I've been a bit busy with the uh, youngest. Youngest has been so great the past few days. So uh, let's see get going, mate. It's a bit noisy. Hold on. Right, uh, oh, Matt's got departures going. We've got, <laughs> we've got a Brussels special coming in next as well. Another one. Yeah. This is the Tomorrowland special. Not seen this one for oh, a long nice. time. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love this livery. One of the cooler liveries out there on this A320 coming in from Brussels. What do we think, folks? Is this a cool livery? Yay or nay? Yeah, I'm a fan of it. I was pretty lucky to get a nice picture of that in the sun coming in. Nice. And it's, uh, it is really intricate. It is, really isn't intricate. It? Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot going on. I think we got a Tui Dreamliner on the taxi out as well by the looks of things. Catch her shortly. And that livery stands for unity, love, and friendship and was created uh, as an ode to Tomorrowland, the world's most iconic festival, uh, which takes place in the Belgian town of Boom. Is the, uh, the Boom. little blurb on that on Brussels' website. Its goal is to bring people together so as to create new friendships and discover new adventures. Awesome. And a KLM coming in. In the Sky Team special. What is going on? Oh, nice. Sebastian, welcome back for one month of business class membership, dude. Really appreciate that. And uh, Joshua Kelly, also a returning member. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate the support. What is that nose about? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wrong nose. Definitely had a uh, nose cone replacement at some point there, hasn't it? Yeah, nose job. <laughs> you had a nose job? No, mate. No, no, I definitely not mean it. <laughs> this is natural. This, this is natural. No, I grew up like this. <laughs> Tomorrow, Lance going to hold, which is great because we can have a nice look at the livery. B double O M boom 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 real nice look at that detail guys big job to paint that aircraft hey Ian Graham thank you very much for the 10 pound super chat mate 
Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. Cheers, Ian. No message as well. Just comes in, slaps his tenor on the table, and walks out. Mad lad. Cheers, Ian. Thanks for supporting us, mate. I really want to get Matt Cam on. Come on. <laughs> chop, chop. And Sue Hunt. Let's get a very warm VIP welcome to our brand new VIPs, Sue Hunt. Welcome, Sue. Thank you so much. Cheers for supporting the channel and welcome to VIP. Enjoy those emotes in the chat and uh, enjoy the uh, VIP lounge if you're on Facebook, Sue. You can join that now. And Martin Sterling sending in a five pound suit chat. Thank you very much. I'm working on a new book. But watching in the corner of the screen. Nice one, Martin. Let us know uh, what your new book is, mate, and what it's yes. about. I know uh, Martin Sterling. He's actually quite a, quite a popular guy, right, I'd say. I don't know how much you want to disclose, though, Martin. Feel free to let us know in the chat. Sky Team Special with the blue nose. He support Man City, does he? <laughs> <laughs> and also landed during the madness. Like, I'm looking at radar right now. There's planes everywhere. We had the Ryanair Max 8200. And Chrissy B is trying to watch the stream, but not got great signal in the hospital. I hope it picks up soon, Chrissy, and hopefully you'll be back home soon as well. Hope so too, Chrissy. Great view there, and look behind, we got the 2E Dreamliner crossing runway one at the moment. She's heading off to Cancun in Mexico. Martin, is that your USB that's pinging? I can't hear a USB pinging. Can we hear a USB pinging, chat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there something on your uh, system? Uh, yeah, but that shouldn't be coming through. The image should be completely isolated. Hmm. Well, that's yours, Terry. <laughs> Did anybody else see a, VI uh, a VIP pinging? <laughs> a USB pinging? <laughs> yes. Yes. Several dings. Something is definitely dinging. Okay. Weird chump. You should really turn them sounds off, I think. You know, your system settings. I mean, I'd just love to know what's, what's doing it, but yes, I will. I will. Uh... Defo pinging for ages. It's been pinging for ages. Pinging like crazy. It's been ping. Jen says it's been pinging for ages. Why have you not told me? <laughs> Has it stopped now? Chat. <laughs> Lots of pings. Gremlins are out today. Two Dreamliners holding short of the runway. Two, three left. As a Jet 2 737 enters... That's heading off to um, Lanzarote Arecife Airport. A route that's quite often served by the 757s with Jet 2. Right, guys, I'm getting confused because everyone's typing yes. If it has stopped, can we can we type stopped in chat? Because I don't know if you're saying yes that it's stopped or yes that you can hear it. Seems to have gone. Okay, let me know if it comes back, guys. Please. <laughs> oh, we got a reply. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the sun is just poking through the clouds now, and it's really nice.
jets who with their owning their own aircraft and bits like that they uh, tend to use a lot of runway as to uh, not use too much engine thrust so it basically reduces the amount of wear and tear on the engines and increases the lifespan of them pretty much they won't say they stop now okay And a Tui Dreamliner is now lined up on 05 left. <laughs> By the sounds of it, we'll be getting Matt on very soon, so stay tuned for that multicam. Okay, yeah, I am in contact with support now, guys, so it should only be a few minutes. Fab. They're just doing a few security checks to make sure I'm not trying to take control of someone else's device, which is completely understandable. Yeah, so I got back uh, Monday night from a little trip to Malaga with the fam with Sam and Dakota for her third birthday, which was on Friday. So we flew out on the Friday, and it was uh, quite a pleasant journey, actually. We went to uh, Bala Medina, which is just outside of Malaga, uh, about a 20-minute drive, and um, stayed in, like, a holiday resort that had, like, uh, pools and had, like, a water park. It was all-inclusive, and uh, it was really nice. Enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, I went there on Friday, uh, sort of afternoon. It's weird to fly on an afternoon uh, these days. I'm always either flying super early in the morning, don't know about you guys, or late at night. It's always like a one or the other. Strange to have, like, the morning to just do odd bits of adult-related uh, jobs around the house, cleaning and laundry and things, and then pack your bags that morning. Very chill. But as always, Jet 2 service was 10 out of 10. Literally the best service of, I'm not even messing, of any airline I've ever flown on. Jet 2 are fantastic, and uh, I'm so glad they offer packages that are, like, really decent, competitive, and they also fly the 757s out of Manchester, which is glorious. We're sadly not uh, lucky enough to have flown on one this weekend, just gone. But, uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Has anyone in the chat ever been to Malaga before, by the way? Because this was my first time on the uh, Costa del Sol. And uh, I thought it was a really beautiful part of the world. This time of year, it was kind of warm. I mean, they've got a big... Um, I don't even watch the news, but I, even I've seen the news leaking through that. Uh, there's a big heat wave coming to Spain in the next week. Yeah, 40 degrees, do you reckon? Yeah, peak in some areas. Uh, which is starting pretty much, well, I think today or from today onwards. So that would be crazy. That would be nice. But to be fair, I'm still climatized to, like, cold Manchester. So to go from cold Manchester to very hot Spain, I think, would be a bit a bit uh, uncomfortable, should I say. Well, about Terry's saying, I was literally about to throw my laptop in the bin. He just couldn't work out where the noise was coming from. <laughs> Probably because nobody else was saying it. Everyone I know, like, everyone... Guys, if you hear something weird on the stream, don't be shy. Just tell me because it's usually very easy to fix and it's something that I will not be able to hear because, trust me, I will not leave a USB sound pinging if I can hear it. So don't be shy. Get it in the chat. We're a community here. We listen to you. We'll get it sorted. We also had the Air Transit A321neo. Long range coming in from Toronto, Canada. And Woodsy, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime, dude. Kicking the Twitch support off. We have fell off big time on Switch. If you want to help us out, check those Switch Primes, please. And we can turn down the ads if we can hit our sub goal. Yeah. I don't think we're ever going to hit that sub goal, I'll be honest. But listen, the man can try. Yep. A lot of people in the chat saying they flew Malaga a few times. You've even been, haven't you, Martin? Yeah, I've been a few times, yeah, when I was younger. It's a nice flight, you know, just two and a half hours it took us. I think it takes two and a half to three hours usually. Um, and, yeah, the, the pricing of Jet 2, man, is good. It was actually the first time I'd flown, well, only the second time I'd flown, and the first time Sam had ever flown from Terminal 2, uh, the new refurb version, 
and Manchester Airport. Oh my gosh, Terminal 2, guys. I don't know how, because they, they had the Wish um, best customer rated satisfaction uh, airports in the UK, and Manchester was divided up into one, two, and three, the terminals. And they all came last place, all three of them. <laughs> it was like, I can't remember what was last, but Terminal 2 was was the least last. <laughs> gosh. Um, but it was still last. And I thought it was really good. I actually really enjoyed Terminal 2. Like, I thought it was, you know, I, I, I flew for Gatwick, for example, and I thought it was better than Gatwick. Um, maybe even better than, not as good as Heathrow, but, you know, it's up there. Keep hearing aircraft noises. That one you're supposed to hear, Chris. <laughs> Here we go, 2767, heading off to Antalya in Turkey. Listen to that noise. CF6 engines roaring out of two, three left. Oh, the Gulf Air that returned to stand earlier on is on the way back out now. Pog. Not entirely sure why that went back. Did to that, stand earlier on. Did that take off or did it just... No, off? so it taxied out to uh, the lineup point, went onto the runway, came off at the intersection and came back across. Oh, wow, okay. Just did a little uh, little loop. Seems like everything's sorted now because the aircraft is taxiing out, heading off to Bahrain. And Noodle Miner dropping a Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, dude. Noodle really appreciate it. Noodle Miner. Thank you. <laughs> who else wants one who's next who's next who, who, wants, who wants a shout out from this guy here scratch that pick of me nose <laughs> I was scratching guys I wasn't picking he was definitely having a good I was zooming in there yeah, yeah, give it a good stick <laughs> hey, that was funny that I've never seen anyone do that that was quite a good I, one I do it at, at um, traffic lights you know I'm just there like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Right. Anyway, um, I think my son's getting to him, guys. He's is, all right. Yeah, the son's already got to me. I've taken it with me. Hand Luis luggage. tuning in from Madrid, Spain. Welcome to you. Buenos dias. Thank you for tuning in. Hola. <laughs> That's yeah. quite good, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, uh, Tina saying, and it was lovely when Jetu mentioned Dakota for her birthday. That was crazy. That was We didn't request that. So we, we yeah, boarded. how did they do that? I thought you'd like put a sneaky word in or something. No, we bought it, and I think Sam was just telling them how it was her birthday at the start of the flight. So we didn't, you know, just you know, you just, when you say hello to the cabin crew, you might you know have a little word with them, chat, you know, say hello. And he's like, yeah, she's traveling for her birthday, and you know, we're excited to get there. We're going to get some cake and stuff when we get there, and whatever. And so didn't think much of it. Flew the flight on the seven three seven to to Malaga. Lovely flight. Really nice, comfortable. Well, seats weren't too comfortable. That was the only negative. And um, got there. And then when we landed, when they did the whole, you know, the talk when they'd land, you know, oh, the local time is blah, blah, blah. And then they said, oh, we, by the way, guys, uh, as we're disembarking, we do have a very special passenger on board. And that's Dakota on her third birthday. And, um, like, the whole cabin, like, clapped as well. It was Aww. so cute. And, and she, she went that shy yeah, then. She, yeah. she, she went to her name. She's like, oh, Dakota. And then everyone started clapping. And she was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... And also, not only that, but they wrote a card. They made a card, uh, like a Jatu themed card. They wrote it saying, Happy birthday, Dakota, um, from the whole crew at LS895 or whatever it was. Mad how they just had a card on board ready yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. and um, they also just bought us some chocolates as well. So, like, we didn't, we didn't pay for them either, just some, like, uh, dairy milk uh, buttons. She's, she's a bit shy, isn't she? I, I felt terrible yesterday because we went. We were Southside filming, yeah. and um, they'd gone to the farm, hadn't they, to pick up some milk. Yeah, Dakota and Sam, yeah. And I uh, went to see them, and we were there looking at the cows. Oh, do you like the cows? She's like, yeah, yeah, I love the cows. So I was like, oh, so I had a, I had a hold of her, like, holding her on the fence while she was, like, looking at the cows. I said, oh, why don't you show up the cow? And I lifted her up and moved her closer to the cow. She went, oh, I want more, I want more. I was like, oh, sorry. You just said you love the cows a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> She thinks she's braver than she is, I think. <laughs> she's getting there. She was terrified of them at first, you know, they wouldn't even go near them. They got the Ryanair departing on the south runway, heading off to Barcelona, another Spanish destination. Really need to get myself back to the beautiful city of Barcelona. It's a very nice place. Very nice part of the world. Has Mac Aviation been let out of prison yet? 
Oh, I, I don't know how, how he escaped. He, he got, <laughs> <laughs> I know he jumped the fence. And <laughs> yeah, no, he was uh, down at Gatwick, didn't he? I think the, the police came and uh, just checked who he was and what he was doing. Doing a mint job at Gatwick. Really good stream, that one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's put a little video up on his YouTube channel of the uh, conversation. Go and have a look at that, guys. Definitely recommend it. And uh, Barra, thank you very much on Twitch for the Twitch Prime. We got a bit of a Twitch Prime train. Try and say that three times fast, guys. Rolling on the Twitch chat. Help us out, guys. Let's let's reduce them ads. Let's hit that sub goal today, shall we? And also, if anyone's interested in Jetsu Polys, we're not sponsored by them or anything. I just love them. Um, oh, I'll, I'll tell you after this. Uh, this this Golfy departs. Now spooling up, ready to start the takeoff roll. Turn and burn. Huge welcome to uh, Ashish tuning in from Nepal, the country of Mount Everest. Yes. Welcome in. Thank you very much for watching. That's also the country of that crazy airport, is it? Uh, Luke Leclerc. Leclerc, that's it. Yeah. And Sonny, thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership <laughs> to Sniper Viper on Twitch. It is all popping off on Twitch, guys. Make sure you... Uh, Say thanks to Sonny for that gifted membership. There he is. Sniper Viper, thank you very much for watching today. Can we hear, uh, can we hear a bit of military somewhere? <laughs> or a king Or a king there again. <laughs> Yesterday, we were um, when we were on Southside, we heard something go over, and me and Andy went, yeah, that's military, that. I said, yeah, it's an A400 or a, a Hurt, that. Got the radar out. It was a, it was a king there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone got um, ADSB open? Oh, here he is. Matt, don't type in the chat, man. They'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scott Free. They let me off the hook. <laughs> he's on the run, guys. He, he's on the run. He, no he's, one... here. he's here. He's here. He's here. I found him. <laughs> Quick. 999. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we've got a Turkish Airlines A330-300 coming in next. Hyped for this. Come on, Kush man. Reply to my message, please. <laughs> Matt, he replied to me to ask me a few questions, and that was at half past ten, ten minutes ago. Matt, no so, Matt, so, Matt Matt are you chilling? You happy? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll, I'll try and get you online as soon as I can, then. I'll, I'll keep you updated. I'm sort of already the deck chair meeting, I'll be sweet. Mate, have you not got a chair with you? Nah. Oh, we'll sort that out. We'll get you a deck chair for next time. <laughs> Turkish 3.30 touching down. Lovely jubbly. In for Istanbul. Great to see the wide bodies used by Turkish. Only one hour 40 minutes, that flight. Really? What, the Turkish Airlines? To Istanbul? No. <laughs> that is not true, that. Is, is that a Concorde? <laughs> that is not true. What are you saying, Radar? <laughs> Apparently it left one hour, 40 minutes ago. Unless that's a time zone thing. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's broken. There you go, Turkish Airlines, A330, on runway 23 right, here in Manchester. Yeah, if you are looking at booking a flight with, or a holiday, should I say, with Jet2, and I would never recommend this usually, but I actually have the, um, I'm in the executive club, and I don't think it costs to enter that for some reason. Um, so get signed up to that, because you get loads of vouchers. Uh, and I've always got, like... Hundred pound vouchers lying around. What? So why? Why is there club? Why do you not have to pay to be in that? I don't know. I, I I really don't know. It's just like an email list type thing. Mm. So I mean, if you, I don't even think they send that much marketing. It's just like the odd email. But a lot of the emails do contain vouchers that are like hundred quid. And I've used. That's what I used this weekend. Just gone. Um, mm, right. I've given them to friends and things in the past as well. It's like 
Oh, you don't know that? Yeah, 200 quid. Yeah. No, that's all. So. Where's Matt today? He's there and ready, guys. For some reason, Matt's device has disappeared off my dashboard, and I'm having to talk to their support to get it back. So they are talking to me. I've just done the security checks. So I'm hoping in the next few minutes to get it back online for me so I can... Because uh, I need to take control of it from here, you see, to to make things work. So I am spam refreshing my email. Don't worry, guys. Matt will be on as soon as I possibly can. No idea where it went. It just disappeared by itself. It got lost. Here we go, Turkish A3-3300 taxiing past us here. Gorgeous aircraft. On reflection, hot Vimto was not the choice today. <laughs> Look at that. Strawberry daiquiri would be the uh, the choice for today. <laughs> That's, it's not that warm, but the sun's out-ish. We got some windows open in here, I think. How are we all getting on with Bingo, folks? I think most people in the YouTube chat, chat should be playing along with Bingo. It's completely free to play along. And I think only a handful of people have only ever gotten full house. What you do is exclamation mark bingo in the YouTube chat to get the link to get playing. And Tony, thank you very much, mate. Executive club member for 17 months. Thank you so much, Tony. Uh, saying another month with Food Talk Live. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you very much, mate. I, uh, I really appreciate it. I think there is only four executive club members in the whole of the Airliners Live community. So thank you very much, Tony, for being one of those. Wow. Uh, any other executive club members in the chat? Thank you so much. And to all our VIPs, thank you very much for supporting the channel. We couldn't do it without you. we got some pretty crazy ideas, guys, that we're working on behind the scenes. Yes. That uh, hopefully we can share with you soon. Get yeah, two seven thirty seven rolling down zero five left at the moment. Very nice. Get them bingo commands in the chat. And shout out to Sunny, two three UK, who uh, she actually set up the bingo for us. It was something I mentioned on the stream a while ago. And uh, then she just went and did it and sent the link in and then just gave the ability to also modify it. So I just added a few extra things in there, but she did a great job. So thank you, Sonny. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, I've got my, uh, my shirt on today. Looking which fresh. I technically designed. Oh. Well, you, you sent the idea to the guy to, to the design. <laughs> let's, 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 let's tell the truth. That's right, that's exactly right. I wasn't going to claim fuck. <laughs> you didn't get his crayons out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be awful if I did it. Yeah. Chase my dreams at cruise altitude with the 757. And I know uh, Jets who aren't going to be keeping the 757s for a lot longer. Um, of the fleet that we've had for the last few years, none of them have retired yet. Um, but I think one is due to retire at the end of this year. I think in September... No. <laughs> After the summer period, anyway, so. Not allowed. I know. We should start like a GoFundMe, like, keep the Jet 275. Yeah, should we just instead. see if we can squeeze it into the airliner's live office somehow? Oh, yeah. Oh, I imagine if they retire. Because they'll probably end up going to, like, freight. They are pretty. Yeah. They're not the youngest, but, I mean, with, with, with um, freight and things, it doesn't really matter. Like, um, they obviously have a lot more of a lifespan in, in, in the world of uh, cargo. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you fly, if you go to like East Midlands, a lot of the aircraft you see there are, are now cargo birds, uh, cargo birds that were previously commercial airliners. Yeah, so yeah, it'd be nice to see that keep the Jet Two scheme for a homage. But certainly, if you you are looking at flying on a seven five seven, Jet Two is a good option. You've also got Iceland Air here at Manchester as well. They fly the seven fives sometimes. Yeah, I think they're. Uh... A bit further down the chain of replacing theirs, aren't they? I think. Mm, yeah, they've already ordered the uh, 
they've started uh, to order the the Airbus A321 XLRs, which are uh, going to be getting delivered soon. Yeah. Uh, in the next few years, and they can, you know, outperform in terms of range and efficiency. The 757s. They also have a huge. Well, not I don't think as big as the uh, as the 75s in terms of capacity, but um, still a lot more economical per passenger. I mean, the Jet 2 ones are fantastic. They, they're so well-maintained as well. Like, their engineering team at Jet 2, uh, obviously they have a base here at Manchester, which I could actually just pan around and you can see the hangar there. Um, it, they do a great job. I mean, the, the Jet 2 maintenance standard is extremely high from my experience, and it's very seldom you'll find something particularly wrong with the aircraft. You know, they might have the odd, like, sort of bird strike or, you know, something minor, but... They're maintained to a very high standard. Yeah, it's uh, going to be a shame to see them 7.5s go, I'll be honest. I think, um, yeah, getting rid of those is something that's obviously bound to happen, but it's definitely going to be a shame to see them go. And as I say, as aviation moves more towards sort of long-range narrow bodies, I think it's, I don't know what we're going to have to do to kind of keep things exciting, really, because for me, that's not very exciting, you know. Yeah, we got to enjoy what we got at the moment. Get as much photos, content, videos, um, and just enjoy them as they, as they last. Because you know it's something that we can go on and tell our children, grandchildren that you know back in my day. I mean, back in the day before this, it was even better, right? Like <laughs> some really really cool planes. Um, I mean, such as the Trident there at the the RVP flying around. I mean, we had the the Concorde, for example. Uh, only recently in the last few years we had 747s regularly in Manchester as well so uh, MD-11s and whatnot. yeah that was uh, that was pretty crazy having those yeah MD-11s I was having a good chat with Charlie actually just about how it how it used to be and stuff after the stream and just like I say there were just 747s coming out you know we had triple sevens. Uh we had the A350 the 350 1000s Man, it was just like all the dreamies as well. We had um, obviously the A380s. It was just, it was just heaven, man. Loads of 330s with Thomas Cook. Um, yeah, it was, mm, it yeah. was, it was. That was the, that was the time. That, that yeah. was the time. Yeah, Monarch as well. I think Monarch had seven fives, and also Thomas Cook had seven fives at a point as well. Yeah, Monarch was another big one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, that's only recent history. I mean, going back, it, it used to be even wilder at Manchester. You used to have like Qantas seven four sevens, Cathay Pacific seven fours. Yeah, some pretty crazy uh, videos of olden days Manchester, which uh, <laughs> you just see it and you just think, mate, that would have been loud. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> great. Old smoky loud engines. I think these days there's kind of a a motion to make engines a bit quieter because. Not only from like an environmental point of view, but also just like passenger comfort and things like trying to make the cabin as quiet as possible. Um, we we flew recently to Lanza, Lanzarote, and um, me and Matt Smith were in the on, on the Ryanair 737 Max, and uh, we were stood at the front near the toilet, we were queuing for the toilet, and it was just so quiet. Like all you could hear was the wind noise. Really, there was I couldn't hear any engine sound, and obviously the aircon sound as well. Like modern engines, something else. I've heard the Dreamliner is similar as well, and the Neos, of course. Yeah, too. We had seven five sevens as well. That's a good, good shout. That's only recently they got rid of them too. Last few years. Lingus uh, Regional and all the airlines taxiing in here. Nice quick taxi, actually, from the aircraft. I don't know where this is from, but judging by the fact that it's a British Reg, it's probably come from Belfast. 
And yeah, it has just popped up on my radar. Belfast Harbour. This is Belfast City Airport. A nice small regional airport there in the heart of Belfast, right next to uh, Harland and Wolf, which is the uh, shipmakers where the, the Titanic was famously assembled. And uh, near there, you've also got the, uh, the Titanic Museum, which uh, I still really want to go to. I was really fascinated by, by the Titanic. Find cruise liners to be uh, pretty fascinating, the size of them, you know. We were always, I was brought up um, obviously around Merseyside and uh, always used to go and see the, the huge ships, you know, the QE2 and, and all, all the mega cruise liners that would show up at Liverpool docks and the aircraft carriers as well. It was just bananas how, uh, how big some of them are, you know. Yeah. Sorry, Andy. Uh, Standby chat. Sorry, I need to ask Matt something. Matt, can you take that live view out of the package the little case it's in and just send me a picture uh, on whatsapp of the back of it with the serial number on it they just want to prove that it's mine and we've got it yeah yep nice one cheers mate yeah sorry chat um yeah i'm i'm trying to get matt on i really am sorry guys for the delay yeah we'll get there luckily there's not really much on the departures at the moment Wow, some bloke could have a lot saying the Titanic Museum is awesome. It really gives you a, a feel of the history. Nice. Well, me and Sam have been looking at doing, like, sometime in the future, a little trip to Dublin and maybe another little live stream from there as well. But we're also looking at Belfast, and one of the reasons is I'd, look, I'd love to fly on one of the ATRs with Aer Lingus Regional. I'd love to just see what they're like. Uh, alternatively, like Dublin, you've got um, Ryanair and... Belfast, you've got EasyJet, which is probably comparable in price, but uh, you still have Flybe. Used to be a very cheap way to get to Belfast. And uh, Sunblock, thank you very much for the five pound super chat saying, uh, signing my Belfast hotel about Titanic, uh, it was fine when it left here. <laughs> really? Speaking of easy jets, this is coming in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. A320 Neo. Hotel Mike on the Reg. Hmm. Hmm. It's a British Reg EasyJet aircraft. Also got EasyJet Europe, which uh, operates uh, different registrations, like Austrian. In the uh, iconic modern EasyJet colours, that orange really does pop, especially on a dull, overclassed Manchester day. A little bit windy here at Manchester today, but nothing too crazy. Nothing we ain't used to. Quite a nice breeze. Yeah. Cheers, Tasker. Returning for 13 months. That's a long time, mate. Proud to be a part of the Airliners Live community. Thank you very, very much. That's uh, it's very kind of you, dude. 13 months. Awesome. Also got another aircraft arriving as well just behind. It's a Pegasus A321 Neo. And it's brand new as well. Only delivered in May 2022. So just approaching its first year birthday. Seems like all the uh, Pegasus 321 Neos are pretty darn new. That we see here at Manchester. I think it's their new uh, generation of their aircraft. Another low coster operating out of Turkey.
And there she is with that really nice looking mask design up front. Los Banditos. Nice, Robert. Did it fly over yours, did it? Just been outside and took a picture of it. Uh, is that going to vacate? I think she is. Oh, nice. Nice head-on shot. And, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're getting here fast, guys, because apparently this one left one hour 52 minutes ago as well. Wow. <laughs> don't know Rapid. What, don't know what's going on with radar today. Jillian, I did. You are right. I had it held on my screen. Thank you very much for the 11 months of premium economy membership. Saying I'll be in Benidorm again when I hit the 12 months. Nice. Hope Yo. you have a great time. Not long to wait then. <laughs> Enjoy Benidorm. Thank you for the long-term support coming up on one year of YouTube membership. And I understand a lot of our members have been with us well before the YouTube days as well. Oh, yeah. Erlingus UK, A330, 300 on the taxi out. Does someone say we have, we have a special ATR coming in, don't we? Uh, for STS, I believe, maybe. Could, okay. Could be wrong. Uh, and that's now on final approach, actually. Um, be yeah, BRA, uh, 72,600. Um, let's have a look if there's any info on this one. Yeah, it might be an STS uh, aircraft. I'm not entirely sure. If anyone knows in the chat. Nice tail on it. Mm. Be a nice catch. Switch crew, if you want to get a... you that, Matt? Any info on that? Um, just going to be on the Alpha 5 about um, Clara Bravens. Yeah, yeah, like you say, not too sure, basically. Yeah, where it's going. It's number two behind the Ryanair, anyway. So we'll be catching that very shortly. Yeah, this uh, Aer Lingus UK is going to hold before crossing runway one. Reason for that is we've got, a, uh, as Martin said, a Ryanair coming in. The Ryanair aircraft is coming in from the Irish city of Shannon. And uh, the Aer Lingus UK, uh, A330-300, heading off to Bridgetown. I think they've got two of these here at Manchester now. I believe they have two Erlings A330-300s. Um, and this uh, this particular one, Air Reg is Golf Echo India Delta Yankee. It's 13 years old. Cheers, Philip. Yep, just confirming that it is on finals. So it's uh, next to land after this Ryanair, I believe. Nice, nice rare catch here at Manchester. Also got just pushed back over at Terminal 2. A TUI 787-9 Dreamliner coming uh, going over to Montego Bay. Ah, there is another Ryanair in front of it, actually. So it's second to land. Cool. Right, where's this Ryanair from? Let's have a look. Uh, Tina, thank you very much for three months saying loving your show. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Cheers, Tina. Nice seeing you the other day. Or the other week for Martin's, on Martin's birthday. Yeah, thank you very much. Still waiting on Mac Cam to go online, guys, so stay tuned for that. We have waited around for uh, an hour to try and resolve the issue. Should yeah, be, I'm uh, doing fixable. my best. They're asking me a lot of questions, guys. I just want him to turn it on. I did send him a follow-up email saying we are live. If we can please <laughs> rush this through. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Nice. I don't think Matt wants us to rush it through. I can I can see him from here, actually. He's lay down with his hands behind his head. Just in the sun. I think he's got a bottle of beer as well. Like, oh, you got a bottle of beer there, Matt? Right? 
3.30 on the way out. Next to depart. Yeah. I'm wondering if um, the 330 that's currently operating the JFK is potentially going to switch back to the 21 once it's out of maintenance or if it's going to stick with the 330. It'd be good to have it stick. Yeah, I was under the impression that it was a capacity thing, not not because it was in maintenance. Well, Philip's in the chat saying that uh, the 8021 uh, is in Dublin for maintenance. Alan Riley, thank you very much, dude. Saying great stream as usual. Really appreciate it, dude. Are you going to be watching Manchester City versus Arsenal today? Uh, no, I'm not really into football, Jordan. Although I will definitely be watching the Man United Man City game coming up. That's going to be big. When's that? Uh, beginning of June, I think. It's, there you for, go. it's, for, it's for a final of something. Uh, that's as far as my knowledge goes. Bad tidy little catch this special arrival today. BRA. ATR 72. Not the uh, airline that frequents Manchester Airport. Nice catch. Yeah, it's quite cute. Yeah, not seen that before either, Loopy. Crazy stream today. FA Cup final, apparently. Wow. Is that it? Yeah. It's a Man United and Man City, mate. That's going to be, even if you don't like football, that's going to uh, cause a few... Cause a few riots, isn't it? And when is it, guys? I think it's the 6th. I, I want to say the 6th of June. So the beginning of June sometime. Hmm. And Peter tuning in from the Netherlands. Welcome in. Thanks very much for tuning in. Welcome. There's two a Dreamliner. India Mike is off to Montego Bay in Jamaica. And this aircraft is five years old. It's quite new. Very nice aircraft to fly on long haul. As 3rd of June. Ah, OK. 3rd of June. That's pretty far away still. Revkev tuning in from Michigan. Welcome. Welcome back, Revkev. Yeah, we've got some school trips at the RVP today. Here we go, lining up our 2-3 left, the 2 each Dreamliner. And EJ, thank you very much for tuning in from Cape Town. Yo, long way away. My brother recently visited uh, South Africa um, from Manchester. He flew with Qatar. 
He said it was an exhausting journey, that long way to go. So what was the route for that? Well, Doha to... I, I, I'm not sure where it, what city he went to, I can't remember, but... Yeah, he went via Doha, basically, so... They're on a triple, and then the rest on a triple, I think, as well. Right, so what's, was, like, the flight time on that? Gosh, I can't remember. Like, what, it was like six, seven hours to Doha? Yeah. And it was even longer, I think, down to... Uh, I think it was Johannesburg, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so... I think it was like eight, nine hours, I think. And also the transfer as well. Like, that is a long day. It's a nice airline to fly on, but... I prefer a Dreamliner. There she goes, to a Dreamliner rotating. Long flight over across the Atlantic to Jamaica. And Fisher, thank you very much for tuning in from Cardiff. Hope Cardiff. You're doing well. Not sure, man. Matt Cam, I don't know. This is this is taking a long time. Just let me, just drop me a text, dude, and let me know your thoughts if you're happy to keep waiting or what you want to do. Because they're uh, they're taking quite a long time to do whatever they need to do. People in the chat saying flight radar twenty four is having issues today. Seems like we're just having. Yeah, weird issues all over the place today. Y'all need to get on radar box. It seems to be working go. fine. This uh, EasyJet A320 heading off to Geneva. Whiskey Delta on the registration. Yeah, Chris, how uh, how cool was that um, SpaceX launch? Oh, yeah. We watched it in the office. The uh, Starship. And, uh, yeah, it was really awesome to see. Um, I think it did look like, obviously, they had quite a major problem getting it off. So I I heard, guys, and I don't know if this is what actually happened or not, but I heard that the hooks that held the rocket in place, like, didn't release when they should have done, and it kind of kept it at, like, full power for, like, five or six seconds before mm. they either broke free of the hooks or they actually got them to replace and you think that's what did all the damage but um because visually watching it it did seem to stay on the pad for a lot longer than what i would assume it should do but obviously i eat greg sausage rolls every day so i am not the guy for space <laughs> sort of technical details but yeah it definitely looked uh looked like it should have got off the pad a lot quicker and uh, looking at the graphic as well, I think, like, was it three or five of the engines weren't providing any uh I think initially three, thrust. I think it was, yeah. But it was cool that it even just got up. Yeah. You know, they, they, they got it out of there and uh, it went for a little flight. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. cool, really cool. See, especially after the little scrub they did as well where we thought, oh, is it going to go, is it not going to go? Um, but, yeah, uh, it, it did actually go in the end. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, another issue I seen that was uh, kind of heavily speculated was the the strength of the launch pad. Yeah, wasn't quite up to standard, and that is, I mean, if you do watch the launch back, you can see when it does take off. And I, I know you clocked this, Martin. First was like, there's like other explosions that happen when it takes off, and there's like obviously debris flying around. Yeah, so the debris just flew up yeah. as it was going off, and I I said, oh look, something's happened there. And uh, it carried on flying. I thought, oh, it's, it's definitely something not quite right. And then, obviously, when it tried to do that, um, tried to do that like flip 
Manu- flip the maneuver. maneuver. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I think they just had to sabotage it, didn't they? In the end, they, they've got like a self destruct thing. Yeah. Which is which is pretty cool, you know, that they've got that built in. Yeah. They just press a button and bang. But mate, like I just love like fair play to Elon man because like it'd be very easy with the amount of money he's got to just go. You know what? I'm set for life. Let me just chill. But he's actually like. How many times has he blown up a rocket? Like, can you imagine how much money that is? Mm. And he's still hyped about it. He's still positive. He's still trying to, like, get on with it. And um, sort of says to the team, like, great job and everything. Like, And you just see literally, like, what? A, what it's got to be, like, a billion pound or something crazy. <laughs> I don't know whatever that rocket cost, but just exploding in yeah. midair. I think it was, like, an expense they were willing, because it was a test flight at the end of the day, you know? Whereas I remember with like Virgin Orbit, you know, they had that issue with the, the most recent launch from the UK or the only launch from the UK where it didn't go to plan. And you could tell from the response it wasn't quite as like, um, I don't know, like they weren't as expecting it as much. Whereas with SpaceX, I've noticed these failures and things, they really like embrace them. They go, we're learning. This is like how you learn and improve. Yeah. And, uh, you know, even like the, the cinematic piece they had at the start of that launch on their own live stream was just full of like, things blowing up and things going wrong and it kind of just shows the progress as well and you do learn the best from just things going wrong and testing things and seeing how far you can push things Chester Photography unless unless we've actually got some sort of like legit proof for that can we, can we not keep typing it in the chat please I think uh, I think the Russians have got a lot more important things to hack than Flight Radar 24. Yeah. Yeah, they might be getting DDoSed, but it doesn't. It's not like a, a <laughs> geopolitical issue. It's just someone probably in some country is probably doing it. Logan Air ATR 72 coming in from uh, from the Isle of Man, actually. I don't know about that task, mate. Like SpaceX is a new, a new venture. It's, it's like bringing in new, a new buzz to, to space. And there's a lot of like with the with the dawn of like the computer age and stuff, as I say. Like you see it even while we're on the subject of hacking. Like younger people get this stuff a lot more because they've grown up with it. So seeing seeing the space control center with a lot more younger people in it, I don't think necessarily is a bad thing. Like. Oh, yeah, it's like a software company. It's just like yeah. Tesla, isn't it? It's like when Tesla was first formed, they didn't go out and find a load of, you know, uh, car manufacturing background people. They hired a load of software developers and a lot of people in background in software. And that's like kind of the, the new way, isn't it, how you get yeah. the edge? Because at the end of the day, like, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of people behind the scenes, like, extremely scientifically minded tons of experience but when you look at these rockets like you look at it like from t minus 40 seconds it's completely autonomous like they're they're just running themselves and you've seen it on the the crew dragon flights those guys just sit and monitor and and that's it you know like they're they're not there to be like flying a rocket anymore They're, they're there to just monitor the systems and and I think, like you say, the, the younger-minded people um, may tend to pick that up a little bit easier. I don't know. Mm, yeah. But I, I don't necessarily think it's a it's a bad thing. This shortbread airlines, another Logan Air, coming in from Aberdeen, up in the uh, Scottish uh, north of Scotland. And Nigel, thank you very much for the 499 Super Chat, saying good morning, chaps, sat in the cafe, enjoying the show. Well done. Nice one, Nigel. What are you having in the old cafe, mate? Anything nice? Yeah. Got some chips. I keep getting whiffs of chips up here. Like, the wind is blowing perfect for that. And I'm on a, a bit of a diet at the moment, so no chips for me. Well, can't promise the same for me. <laughs> but yeah, I think... The, the thing I love about SpaceX is, like, we're getting to experience it. Like, people mm. my age, like, I'm 32 now. And I missed out on, like, the first space um, push. Yeah. And it kind of became, like, space was kind of like, it felt like just put to one side. Like, we were launching 
telescopes and stuff like that, but there wasn't really any sort of major rocket launches happening and no, stuff. There was and no big missions and groundbreaking new yeah. new things going on. So for me, like SpaceX is kind of like bringing all that back to life, and especially with the cool side of things of like the boosters landing themselves and stuff. It's really exciting to watch, and, and yeah. I'm, I'm just hyped every time I see it. It's and especially like. Just technically, how they're doing it with the drones, like mm. filming the, uh, yeah, filming them landing. Just the shots are just epic. It's yeah, the, so cool. The production quality of their live streams is next level. Like they really go above and beyond. Like even down to, I know it's so subtle, but like having like a crowd, like ambience, you know, like the the microphones for the crowd cheering the, it on the crew the the uh, staff in the background. Yeah, 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 like everyone cheering it and like different stages. It's like. Like that is just like so just a vibe in it. Yeah. Whereas you know, you guys seen the Virgin Orbit one. Yeah, they're a new, yeah, they're startup, aren't they? Of course, their live streams aren't going to be the same yeah. quality. But it's just when you compare the two, you can see how much attention to detail there is, and having all the, yeah. the graphics on there. And I mean, like you say, Virgin Orbit was the first stream, but it was a, sh- a bit of a shame. I'll be honest. Um, the stream for me, I think, I think a lot more could have been done with it. Yeah. Especially like with them using a 747 as well mm. i think i think there's a lot more scope for it and maybe they'll look at it in the future but um but yeah i definitely think there's a lot of potential in those vir- virgin orbit streams absolutely like just just some of the things you can do with it yeah yeah it was a bit of a shame it was a night as well but um yeah i'd love to see more anyway in the future G Sugar taking off then, and Brea won 35, Legacy 650. Executive jet. Nothing on the arrivals, but a lot of aircraft ready to go. On the departures, such as uh, one of the ex Thomas Cook A321s in the uh, Jet 2 fleet. I believe this is off to Malaga. Malaga. Yeah, so Virgin Orbit. I saw we're not going anymore. But then um, I saw another thing the other day with, like, Didn't doing something else. Yeah, they were doing um, work in the States. Um, some test- testing, was it? Yeah. I don't think they've pulled the plug on them. I think they're just really struggling with the finances at the moment. Because uh, obviously these space, you know, venture companies they just rely massively on like investors because they're not like generating any money like they're not there's no money just like they're not doing jobs here like (laughs) you don't go to space for the ad revenue (laughs) (laughs) it's not just their YouTube channel so if they can't get that backing then they're a bit a bit stuck but I think that's like the big reason why presentation is really important because you look at SpaceX and that's kind of set the bar really high for the presentation of 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 like um, these space missions in terms of like live streams and and content for the people to you know get excited about they even have their own merch line and everything um, and it gets you hyped about the brand and it gets you hyped about the launches and it lets you experience them but if if that brand isn't there, if you're not you know really spending on the marketing and the and the production of like the live streams and things, then what is it to get hyped about? Because like, because once you've got that hype, then you know you can fail a mission or you can have a, a not so good test flight, and people are still hyped, people are still excited. Mm-hmm. Top Air Portugal one ninety Embraer heading out to well, Lisbon now departing to three left. But yeah, I, I, I too am sad I missed out on that kind of the dawn of space. Kind of glad I lived through like the the start of like the internet. It's kind of yeah. weird how kids born after sort of like 2000 probably never n- knew a world without the internet, you know? Where you had to go outside and things or call up somebody's landline to give it, you know, to get in touch with them. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? <laughs> I remember when um, 
when we had phones that had Bluetooth on them. Mm. And you're in class and you're like sending each other like songs or pictures <laughs> <MP3s>. or <laughs> whatever. And you could only send a certain size. And then everyone had like the first camera phones. And then I remember like polyphonic ringtones. Everyone was buzzing when they oh, came yeah, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they were monophonic before then. They're monophonic. And, yeah, yeah. And um, if you remember on the old Nokias, they used to have the thing where you could type in the notes and the length of the notes to make your own ringtone. Yep. And I got a bit of a name for myself in school because <laughs> I, I, um, so I, I've, I've played piano for a long, for, for a long time, but I've not, I've not done it to be honest for the last 15 years or so, but I used to play it a lot and write music and stuff. And, um, I can hear something and just play it after a few minutes. Yeah. So, I was like, oh, can you make this tune for me on my phone? I'd go in and you make like the monophonic ring, so you go in, type it in, and in about 10 minutes, it was done. <laughs> and, and like, everyone was asking me to like make these things, and then polyphonic ringtones came out, and that was it, and I was out of a job. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> You're not a cool kid I anymore. I wasn't a cool kid anymore. But um, yeah, that was, uh, that was mad when uh, polyphonic ringtone came out, because I remember the, uh, the first time you started hearing them in, in school, and it was just mad how. Uh, how sort of realistic they sound, they were like little drum kits and that. <laughs> Practically yeah. a geek saying, I used to sell ringtones. There you go, you missed a trick there. Could have charged for your services. Yeah, mate. I, uh, to be honest, I was just glad to, to not be the nerdy kid anymore, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, have you got a British Airways 321 Neo on a taxi? How it looks like it. Yeah, it is. Guys, there's a BA 321 Neo heading back to London Heathrow on the taxi. We're going to have a lovely view of that gorgeous aircraft. I used to be a king at a snake, though, on the Nokias. While we wait for this Jet 2, we've got a, another Logan Air coming in. Not entirely sure where she's come from. Oops, sorry. Ah, new key. Yeah, there we go. Speaking of Virgin Orbit, it's come from Spaceport Cornwall. Lauriem, good morning to you. Buenos mañanas. Howdy. And Susie B, hello as well. Tuning in on uh, the Midweek Madness. And it's been pretty crazy at Manchester today. It's been very busy. Had a couple of special catches. We had the Brussels Airlines Tomorrowland special and the KLM Sky Team special as well. Both arrived earlier on. One thing it did, I, it took me ages, you know, to realise that you could plug your PlayStation, uh, was it PlayStation 2, hmm. into the internet and uh, oh, yeah. and play online. I ne Mate, I was doing single player for years, yeah, didn't you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I had a game, I think it was like Star Wars Battlefront, was it? Mate, Star Wars Battlefront, the original one, yeah, popped yeah. off. That but, was the best game ever. When, when, and we were like... Because it said on it, it said um, supports online play. Yeah. We were like, what? Like, what is that? <laughs> like, yeah. how does that work? What's this magic? Madness. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Because we, we, our age is kind of the age where it's kind of all happened, isn't it? Yeah. Internet-wise. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really weird. You did not just say howdy to me. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to learn, okay? I'm trying to, I'm trying to be inclusive here. We've got a Iberia Express heading off to Madrid. She's just a little A320.
Oh, nice, Oscar, saying uh, my dad is arriving on Emirates Flight 17. He's sitting on the right, uh, can catch him in top seat, uh, seat 18 kilo. Nice one, Oscar. Hope he has a great flight, and we'll look out for him. And there we go, we got... Uh, it looks like a Polaris PC-12. I'm not sure, is it Ravener? Can't see the red from here. Probably Ravener's though. If anyone knows the airline, let me know. Yeah, we're, uh, we are struggling with radar at the moment. Yeah. No, I don't think it's ra uh, Raven out. <laughs> and we've got an AG and A320 Neo on the taxi out. Jamie's saying, hey guys, have you ever had uh, one of the hot dogs from the cafe there? Yes, many times. Yes. Yes, they are good. Thumbs up. And on the south side, we're going to switch over because we got the British Airways A321 Neo rolling down 23 left, heading back to London Heathrow Airport. Gorgeous aircraft, this. I've said it many times. It's actually my favourite BA aircraft in terms of looks. It just looks really nice, I think. Suits the BA livery nicely. It's either that or the A350, which uh, does have a bit of an unfair advantage. But No dinner for me, Laurie. Ah, I am missing my uh, Whataburgers. Yeah, we had to slip to the loop. No problem. Oh, lovely sound. Me and Sam were joking, or kind of half joking, maybe a bit of truth to it, saying that we'd love to go over to the States and see one of the, the launches one day especially one of the SpaceX ones um, but I don't think there's any airports around Boca Chica is there? Is, would the nearest one be like Houston or like San Antonio maybe is there any further south than that and the aircraft coming in it's, is that another Iberia no it's an Air France Coming in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Foxtrot Golf. Kilo X-Ray Yankee on the ridge. Brownsville Airport. I mean, one that we could fly to ideally from the UK, though. Let's do, like, BA flight to there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can get to San Antonio from the UK. Maybe. I suppose you could always just take a domestic flight as well, right? Like, who flies to Brownsville? Do we? Did he get? I keep saying, I keep thinking of saying Brownville. <laughs> the, um, do they have any? Uh, like Southwest, maybe? American? Just asking for a friend, guys, okay? Aegean's ready to head back to Athens. She's lined up on 05 left. I'm going to take a quick swig, swig of water. I think I've got a couple of seconds. This is your reminder, chap. Stay hydrated. It does wonderful things to your body. San Antonio or Houston, then southwest of Brownsville. Okay, Laurie. I, I'm not necessarily going to book that, but I'm going to look anyway to see 
if that's uh, <laughs> if that's doable. <laughs> Uh, France coming in. This is in from Paris Charles de Gaulle. Anyone fancy an airliner's live group trip, trip over over to uh, Boca Chica? <laughs> Maybe an airport live stream from um, Brownsville. <laughs> yeah, 4K. United fly to Brownsville. Nice. Not bad, United, are they? I've never flown with Southwest, though. I know they're kind of... Would you call that a low-cost coster? I guess so, maybe. Low-cost-ish. Ooh, a Virgin A350 inbound. Nice. Love it. Love it. That Aegean still lined up on the 2 3 left, by the way, folks. Yeah, stay hydrated. Oh, no, it's switched. They used to have the stay hydrated bot, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so that's a good point. You could just go to Orlando for the Kennedy Space Center launches. That would be dope. I mean, that would be easier, right? Because <laughs> you fly direct with like Aer Lingus or something. Or oh, Virgin on the A350. Guys, come on. You dig deep. Also, got the uh, EasyJet in the Europe car special here. Quite a nice little catch again. Loads of special liveries today. Sounds like a plan. Should you get a GoFundMe? Southwest is the easy jet of the US. Right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, folks, look. It is the Virgin Atlantic A350 1000 coming in next. What's the reg? GV Lib, Lady Emmeline. The Manchester icon. Leisure config aircraft coming in from Orlando. Florida. Beautiful stuff. She's like, taking the uh, rapid exit taxiway there to her right-hand side. Loop around and come and say hello at the RVP. Beautiful aircraft. And look who's also taxiing out as well. The little blue nose we seen earlier. <laughs> KLM Sky Team Special heading back to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. 
Another cool catch for today. I'm seriously considering going to Dallas to take my lad to see Dude Perfect live tour at the end of July, saying the Flying Architect. That sounds awesome. Don't they fly the um, BA fly the A380 these days to Dallas? Oh, look who we got taxiing out as well. Jet 2757 LS Alpha Bravo. I don't know where to look. There's cool planes everywhere. Uh, I think uh, maybe we just call it on that cam today. I think they're just not getting back to me. Right. Don't know what's going on. Do you agree? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. He's just sat there and he just waiting. Yeah, maybe he can come over here or yeah, yeah. Chill, All right, I'll chill with us. There she goes, the Virgin Atlantic A350-1000. And just in time to see the Blue Nose take off. There she is. And Jet 2757 now lining up a quick touchdown shot. Got a Ryanair. And a Max. I think it's a Max. Yeah. A200 touching down. Steve, thank you very much for the £2 super chat saying popping in the stream while I'm on a break. Thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate that. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day as well. And uh, Nash, thank you very much. Uh, Nash Stoops, uh, thank you very much for the nine months of business class. Um, saying if you go to Brownsville, every day after astronaut Brownsville. YouTube um, has a must-see video on visiting Brownsville. Brownsville. That will make your life easier. Fun and <laughs> Can we Have I missed something? Yeah, I petition think. to change the name to Brownsville. <laughs> The Jet 275 is now lined up on 2-3 left. She's out heading off to Antalya. And this uh, Ryanair Max is in from Genoa. Yeah, while, we, while you were gone, we were discussing... Um, would it be possible for us to go and see one of the SpaceX launches? Like, how would that be achievable? Yeah. And apparently the nearest airport is called Brownsville. Okay. And, um... Mate, that sounds like uh, destiny to me. <laughs> it's got my name written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously there's no... I don't think there's any international flights there, so you've got to fly to, like, Houston or okay. Dallas... There you go, fly there, say howdy to Laurie, and then hop on to Brownsville. Get a slop. <laughs> so why 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 is that a thing? Like what what have, what have I missed in that story? Like I don't know. I thought that was like a a nice way to greet each other. I guess so. I definitely would have got a slap. I would have said that at some point. <laughs> and we've also got the Brussels Airlines tomorrow on special beauty taxiing out as well as the sun goes behind some clouds and we all get very cold <laughs> Chester Mike cheers for the info in the chat as well today as always doing a great job
when will the meet the team video be up? Susie, I could get one up today potentially. Um, Henry's will be first, and then I think Fezzes, then maybe Matt, and then it, uh, we'll finish with uh, Minor Martins. Henry's is really good, by the way, guys. Like that's, it's unreal. Like Henry's is a bit too good. We might have to have a word with him. <laughs> Listen, listen to he literally has like slides he has like printouts he has yeah. magazines of pictures he's taken and like we think we like planes guys but me and Andy both agree that we do not like planes anywhere near as much as Henry he is on another level he is on a whole other level he's, he's been doing so he's been much stuff since, yeah for, for, for like 40 years he's been plane spotting and but like seriously though like getting photos getting in magazines and going on trips and working for different organizations. Has Fezzer redone his? I'm not sure. The only thing that I need to finish now, I've just not had time, obviously, been away is uh, the thumbnails for them. I want them to be kind of cool. So you guys, when you see the, the, the video go up, just put a bit of appreciation for the thumbnail. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I just like a nice thumbnail. Uh, Martin, thank you very much for the 10 months of Airliners Live membership. Really appreciate that. Long time member of the channel. Cheers, Martin. And uh, I think we're all caught up. Uh, we've got Bev Elliott tuning in from uh, South Australia, Adelaide. Welcome, Bev. Nice. Thanks for tuning in. And Alex Smith, thank you very much for the 14 months. Um, so loving the streams and the whole community. Thank you all for the hard work, guys. You make this channel what it is. Thank you very much, Alex. And the VIPs help us to... Uh, really push the boundaries of the channel as well. I'm really sorry about Matt Cam today, guys. Um, I've told Matt to pack up now because I don't want to just keep him sat there waiting in limbo. Um, I'm going to carry on, obviously, working to get this back online ready for Sunday. Um, but, yeah, for today, we're just going to be uh, a nice chilled RVP stream. He probably deleted his video on Monday. What? I did not know this. Why did he do that? I thought he was quite happy with his video. I don't know. Well, I suppose he's going to have to redo it then, I guess. Yeah, I didn't... I usually watch the flight sim shows, but obviously I was travelling on that Monday, so... Yeah, he's going to come over to the RVP, I think. I've told him I'll get him something from the cafe if he wants. Oh, lovely sound. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat anyway, guys, for Matt today. I know uh, we couldn't get him on, unfortunately, but shows up every week. Nothing's too much trouble for him. And even even though he's having some uh, family things at the moment, he's, uh, he's still completely uh, involved with the channel. And, uh, yeah, absolute legend. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for Matt Smith. He deleted it by accident. <laughs> How does one do that? Did he? Yeah. <laughs> right okay oh well we recorded our, well I recorded mine twice now and both the first time I wasn't happy with it I was making food while I was doing it and I just went back and I was like I missed like loads of <laughs> things I could have said and then the second time me and Martin recorded ours and the audio was messed up so <laughs> F so we're going to have to do it again but at least the third time we know what we're going to say and it should be uh, pretty pretty good but yeah Henry's is already done Henry's is fantastic guys you have to watch it uh, it's gonna be a VIP only series and it's not really like a massive extra that we're putting behind a paywall it's more just a little bonus for them people who do support us and are kind of invested in the channel uh, it'll be on YouTube uh, I might try to find a way to put it on a VIP lounge as well maybe on Discord as well for those who aren't supporting on YouTube but I'd recommend moving your support over to YouTube anyway because uh, that's the platform that you get the most benefits on yeah definitely yeah, um, and to be a member on YouTube, I think it's only two pound 
99. 99, yeah. Depending on which level you'd like to go. If you want to get access to uh, discounted merchandise, then uh, you need to go for the business class package. But uh, every member level is um, is eligible for the VIP lounge and all of the emotes and stuff like that. Yep, and all the videos, of course. Can you cross ca- uh, Matt Cam off bingo? Yeah, I'll let you all cross Matt Cam off on your bingo. <laughs> go on, then. And yeah, and obviously the main thing about the VIPs are they they give us like a um, reoccurring amount to spend on the channel, uh, which we can spend on uh, some big costs like uh, MacCam and and all the servers and things that need to run that, all the upgrades on the stream, 4K, data costs, um, network upgrades as well, which have been quite pricey recently. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's it'll, you guys see the effects of uh, what you guys do, and also like a broad trip uh, shows and stuff. Um, although they don't really cost that much, I like to travel on a, a budget. Your dad was pretty baffled when uh, you seen the the amount I spend on hotels when I go on these trips. I always go for, like the cheapest of the cheap. <laughs> Nice, Alex. Where are you off to in a few weeks? How's the weather in Manchester today? Um, unseasonably warm in South Australia today. Currently 21 degrees Celsius at uh, 20 past 8 in the evening. Wow. Um, so, I mean, it's 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 kind of cold-ish. Uh, I wouldn't say it was warm here. I don't know what the actual temperature is locally. Uh, let's see if I can just quickly check that. But... Um, it's one of them days when the sun's out, it's quite nice. But when the sun goes behind a cloud, it's uh, not nice. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 degrees Celsius here, apparently, local time. and uh, Local temperature, but the local time is 10 minutes to 12 in the morning. But yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it, where we kind of go into spring. This happens every year, guys. Um, we'll usually have a little bit of warm weather and we'll get really excited and yeah winter's over and then it'll usually go to the second phase of winter which is what we're in now which is where the temperature drops back down again in fact uh, yesterday morning I had to get ice off my car in the morning so it's uh, it's back to being a bit chilly I'm afraid but I'm super excited for the summer I mean to have nice warm weather again it's almost kind of unheard of. Like, I forgot my gloves today, and I was a bit conscious of that. But uh, the sun's allowed me to just not be wearing a jacket or gloves. But it's, it'd be nice to not have to wear a jacket and thermals, by the way. I uh, just Sorry, I was just having a quick chat with Nigel out the front of the cabin there. Oh, yeah. um, from the radio club. And we're getting that video on the way uh, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Hi, it's for that. Hi, pipe, pipe. Some uh, gents from the uh, the radio club guys uh, that we've met a few times now, big fans of the channel as well, and uh, yeah, they're going to be coming down to Airliners Live HQ, and we're going to be uh, putting in um, like a nice radio antenna and, and um, a receiver so that we can uh, listen to the ATC at Barton and at Manchester Airport from the office, and uh, it's going to be like quite a cool behind the scenes video about. The different equipment we're going to try. We're going to try a few different things to try and optimize it. Um, we're going to um, try a couple of different antennas and stuff. So for anyone interested in radio, um, make sure you keep an eye out on our YouTube channel because that video is going to be coming soon. I'm really excited to, to do that. Um, really cool bunch of guys as well. Really good laugh. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. Hopefully uh, in the next couple of weeks we'll be doing that. John Russell wasn't too impressed with his cheap apartment in Lanzarote. What did you say, John? I think I think you did mention this to me. Oh, you booked a, you booked yourself in. I had to bag a bargain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I usually go for the cheapest. Mate, my dad pulled you up on that the other day, didn't? He? That's what I was just saying when you were talking to uh, Nigel and yeah, saying that well, why are they all so cheap? I oh, know. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I'm not bothered. Like I just sleep and then get up and then. I well, know, but I mean. I'm not, I'm I'm not a uh, 
<laughs> a nasty business partner. I'm not. I'm not expecting know, you to no. stay in a dungeon every time you go to do a live stream <laughs> somewhere. You can, you can get something that's half decent. Like if if you go somewhere in the UK, you're going to spend eighty quid on a Premier Inn, aren't you? So that's it. Yeah. Get yourself somewhere relatively nice. Like you, you're staying in this thing. Like you're lucky if you got a shower curtain. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? He's that's got three it. candles. If he uses more than them, that's a tenner extra. <laughs> I'm not too fussed. Oh, we got that BRA taxi now as well. Oh, yeah, nice. If it's, a, if it's a, an actual holiday, then I'll be bothered. But, I mean, if I'm just... Like in Lisbon, I literally got there late at night, checked in, slept, woke up, left immediately. And it was like I didn't even see the room. Mate, as if I've just told Matt to pack up and then now said, please try and add the unit. Oh. Thanks, dude. We couldn't have done that, like... Half an hour ago, could you? Is it there or? Um, now the unit's showing it. <laughs> we only have like an hour left anyway. Yeah. Air Lingus Regional coming in here. This will be coming in from Dublin. Yo, well, um, good luck, Brandon. Got an interview today at uh, Manchester Airport. <clears throat> Best of luck to you, dude. Love to hear from you if, if uh, you get any news from that. Yeah, Microsoft Flight Simulator just had the uh, the new ATR 72 and 42s released. And uh, there's actually an impressions video on our YouTube channel. You can go and check that out if you want a, a quick uh, lowdown about if it's uh, worth buying or not. I think it's only cheap, though, isn't it? It's only, what, 20 quid or something? Am I, am I right? Hey, Alex, <laughs> thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership. That's gone to Becky Grant. And uh, Becky, I saw your question. You were asking uh, for somewhere to go spotting. I mean, I mean, if you if you don't mind paying for your parking, come down to the RVP. You'll have a nice view. Or if you want to go south side, um, just go to the south side viewing area over there. But that is going to be uh, a little bit of a walk uh, up the hill just to get to the spot. So it depends on uh, on where you'd like to be. But you've just received a, a gifted membership from Alex Smith. Thank you very much, Alex, for that. EasyJet's A320neo coming in from Pisa. And on the taxi out, folks, we've got a Singapore A350 as well. RVP, sorry, uh, plane holding in front of the RVP. Check that off your bingo. Yeah, Alex, you do need to get some kind of sign. Maybe that's another merch item, just a little, like, board you can put in the window. <laughs> yeah. That's it from Pisa. I'm going to tell you it left two hours, 18 minutes ago, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Great yeah, shot. either a, a sticker or a, one of our coasters is usually a good shout. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just print something off. That would be hilarious. But if you are enjoying today's show, guys, please go ahead and uh, click that like button for us. We'd really appreciate it. Singapore Airlines, A350 now, <clears throat> entering the active runway for departures. Zero 05 left today in use. A 
Uh, Brathens is a Swedish uh, regional airline. Well, there you go. That's probably why we've never seen them here in Manchester before. I'd imagine they're probably doing a uh, charter flight for some some organisation. And apparently, um, gifted memberships is coming to iOS soon, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, within the next two weeks, apparently. Yeah, which is uh, which is cool. Let's keep an eye on that, folks. If you want to gift a membership, right now you can only do it on um, PC or tablet. Sorry, or PC or laptop, or um, on an Android device. But it's a great yeah. way to support the community by just giving back. Uh, one membership to a random member in the chat. Yeah, keep your eye open for that. Uh, Becky in the chat just saying thank you very much for the gifted membership to Alex. Absolutely legend, Alex. Thanks for supporting the uh, channel today. And there goes the Singapore A350-900. Uh, that's the service that takes her all the way to Houston to see a, uh, a rocket launch down at Brownsville. <laughs> Wow, flying architect, that is expensive, mate. British Airways to Houston from Manchester is coming in at five and a half thousand pounds for three people. Mm, wow. Economy as well. That's probably just not even economy plus, is it? That's probably just economy. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely expensive, that, isn't it? Yeah, I think when uh, me, Sam and Dakota went to Austin, we probably paid about... 1600 for all three of us return yeah economy plus as well and that includes the shuttle from manchester to heathrow as well, well that's a lot cheaper then isn't it that's yeah it's actually pretty reasonable i think i was like or it might have been 1700 once we paid for all the uh yeah like the economy plus and all that another pegasus sitting at the moment uh what hang on <laughs> what's going on the screen's uh um, one second, guys. Yeah, there we That's go. Been a question there, was No, uh, the screen. Do you know it's got like a button that flips it upside down? <laughs> <laughs> it did that. So the plane just appeared upside down on my screen. I was like, what? <laughs> That's weird how it didn't flip the output, though, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's just for the display. That was so weird. I glanced away and the, the plane was upside down. Yeah, it's weird that team. You know, I'm not sure why it gifted an existing member a membership. I'm, I'm not. It shouldn't do that. But um, hmm. yeah, it's a weird one. Unless maybe Tina, your membership had expired. Yeah, maybe. That's the only logical explanation I can come up with for that one. I'm afraid. It's. Uh, I never get gifted memberships. I don't know why. Like, Sam is always messaging me like, oh, look, like, she doesn't even watch many, like, live aviation channels. She'd be like, oh, look, I've been gifted a Simon Lowe membership again. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you don't even watch him. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? I actually watch him, and I never get gifted memberships. Although I... That no. happens to me on Twitch every now and again when I check my Twitch notifications. I've been gifted memberships to all these channels that I haven't watched for ages. <laughs> wow. I feel bad. I feel like you're taking it away from someone who's actually... Because mm. don't get me wrong, like, I still like the channels, but I just don't tune in regularly. Mm. And I feel like there's probably people in the chat who'd uh, benefit a bit more from that. Yeah. Lufthansa A321neo heading back to somewhere in Germany. 
Beep, 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 bop. Let's have a look. Uh, Munich. There we go. Nice and quick. Oscar oh, saying in there, if you're watching on Twitch as well, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Oscar saying, my dad arriving in nine minutes. That means oh, nice. that the king of the skies not far out, guys. Ah, that makes sense, Terry. Yeah, that makes sense, mate. Terry Edwards, brand new mod, 1000 IQ. He said what it probably is, is because she had premium economy membership, it's upgraded her to business class. Because mm. that's what the gift is. It's a gift of business class membership. So that probably explains it. Nice. There she goes, the Lufthansa 321 Neo heading back to Munich. A couple of props waiting to go, two. Two pairs. Heat wave in Manchester, what wizardry is this, says Chat FM on Switch. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it a heat wave. I mean, it's, it's nice, it, it's, it's not cold. It's about 10 degrees Celsius, so, yeah. Maybe that is a heat wave for us. <laughs> oh no! Wait, there's a guy on uh, there's a guy on the mound. Hmm. <laughs> He's like caught one of those. The only way I can describe it is like you know in them pirate films where you get one of them like uh, <laughs> the telescope and you get one of them and you extend it out. You know, I look at it and you go and put it back in your pocket again. Like an extended, uh, extended telescope. Wait, what a guy! He just put it back in his pocket. All right, okay. <laughs> I was gifted a Sid Squad membership. I was asleep at the time. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm usually uh, asleep when uh, Sid Squad are live. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, hopefully uh, I can catch some of their shows in the future. Yeah. It seems like in our chat, though, for the most times people who received them are there. Here he is. Matty Smith, stand by. Matt Smith in the building. Let's get that Matt emote in the chat, folks. The legend himself. We've also got a aircraft on the short final as well. An EasyJet A320 coming in from Palma de Mallorca. Pork, pork pie for dinner then, chaps. No, no, no. I myself am on a diet, guys, by the way. Like, it's a big diet. It's not It's not uh, just cutting out chocolate and stuff. It's quite an extreme one. So uh, I'm tempted to make little vlogs about it as well on my own channel. Um, a couple of people have asked me to do it. Because uh, it's not something I really want to talk about on the channel. Although, this is the home of food talk. Um, yeah. Something I might do. But mostly, uh, I'll give you guys updates, of course, and stuff. A bit of weight loss would be nice. But I do have quite a lot of like pre-diabetic symptoms and stuff. So that's like my main goal is tackling that. I'm also not many people know this, but I'm also like heavily asthmatic as well. Like I yeah. Require quite a bit of medication, so things like that I'd like to resolve. We always strive to uh, be a bit healthier, don't we? Mike, Matt is back from the war front. <laughs> yeah, just sitting on south side waiting for... Uh, Bronte. 
this thing to come online. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Buenos tardes. Hola. Hola. Please are you. That's swift. Dos cervezas. <laughs> <laughs> See you. And uh, Ian Meadows says his Matt Cam on today. Well, Matt Cam's here. We couldn't get him online today because of an issue with the dashboard that yeah. needed their support people to do, and it, they didn't get it done quick enough. So, sincere apologies from our side, ladies and gents. We uh, we did try our utmost to get to get online on South Side there, but yeah, but live streaming this is the nature of the beast, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's some things that we have complete control of. Uh, yeah. That is not one of them. I'm yeah. afraid if it doesn't show in the supplier's dashboard, then. All I can do is send them a support ticket and ask yeah. them to fix it. Which, in fairness, they've fixed it within two hours, but it's just not quick enough for Bas- us to basically, get it done today. Basically, what happens when I go south side there? Like, I just take everything out, take all the kit out of the bag, set the tripod up, throw the camera on the top, throw all the leads in the camera and whatnot, all the networks, and it's normally just streamlined and straight then you online. Just wait for me, don't you? And see? I just wait for Martin to get get everything uh, get, on, get connected to my uh, setup over there, and then. Normally yeah. away, but yes, but uh, it's fixed. It's now showing in the dashboard. So, oh, sorry, for uh, Sunday. We're all set for Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll be doing an apron cam on Sunday this week. Yeah, another, so, another uh, gremlin that's out of our control. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, I have asked him in an email. Is there anything I can do in the future to to fix this myself? I don't think there's going to be a great be deal you can do. I mean, I think the only thing I can do is just check it the night before and hope that it doesn't disappear between then and the morning but yeah i don't even know why it disappeared to be honest it's obviously not anything we've done but there you go it is what it is guys one Burrio. of those things are we still here still on mine yeah yeah but jen's been doing um really well with her um she's she's not really been dieting really mm. she's she's trying not to have bad food but i think the problem is because i'm not doing it, you know, at the same time. The temptation's there, isn't it? But um, she's doing really well with her exercises. She's been exercising um, every single day. She's got herself a treadmill. Nice. Doing walking. She's doing at least 10,000 steps a day. What are you doing to help her, though? What are you doing to Mate, getting involved? I'm, I'll be honest, I'm doing nothing. See, it's hard. If you, if you, if, if, I get this off ID a lot. Like, oh, you've got to help I'm as well. Like, you've I mean, got to eat. If, I'm, you, if, you if I've got to eat this, and you've got to eat it as well, and mm. this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm trying. I'm trying to encourage her. You know, but I'm not. Which I'm I get. Not dieting, you. Which I get because you don't want to get home and do two meals and all that. I totally get that. Yeah, yeah. But, so I mean, I'll cut my own thing. But the thing is, um, over Christmas, I think I've mentioned it on stream. I had quite a bad couple of couple of months over Christmas, and I lost about a stone. Yeah, a stone and a half. So at the moment, I'm trying to put the weight back on rather than, you know, start dieting. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, she's been doing it by herself. We've been absolutely smashing it. Though. Yeah, been smashing. So it. you're like polar like, opposites, aren't you? Like she's trying to lose weight and you're trying to put, put a, weight put on. A timber on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Fair and yeah, she's actually doing very little to help me. I am. I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am because I'm having chips and all sorts, mate. It's it is it is bad, but wow, some bloke. Um, no alcohol for six months. Stop smoking. Might, in, might even fit in his own line his live merch in six months. Hey, well done, mate. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> nice one, Great Dave. job, mate. I'm still... I'm still uh, Jenny from the block. Unfortunately, I'm still smoking it. Something <laughs> I did actually stopped. So we're on a similar path to you and Jen as far as the weight loss goes, but Idy's just stopped smoking. Yeah. And okay, he's really there's encouraging there's me to stop now as well. There's no weight on you, Matt. <laughs> I know, mate. I know that, but like, just like seeing her stop now, it's... It's put like a bit of a yeah. Smoking's one that definitely like yeah. Would something benefit that I've got to like. I've got to kick it in, kick it yeah. to the curb, mate. And it's going to be obviously I'd be stopping now. It's really going to encourage me to give it a good. And mate, I bet you'll be surprised how much money you save. As absolutely, well. yeah, absolutely. I'm not joking, mate. There was a guy in front of me in Sainsbury's who uh, bought some cigarettes. I think I sold Andy this the other week. Yeah. He went in and I can't remember how many he got, but he literally could carry it out in two hands. Okay. So he must have got like what ten packets. Yeah, or something. yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm not joking, mate. A few hundred pound they charged me, and I was like, wow. Like, if I was smoking, I'd probably smoke them in a couple of weeks. I think the one that my dad gets now, like, my dad smokes like some of the top blue ones. Sorry, hydrated. Lovely shot there 
I know Oscar's dad is on board this Emirates Flight 17 from Dubai. Hey, nice one. Buzzing. The uh, A380-800 here at Manchester Airport, live in 4K. James Boss saying, uh, smoking is hard, but I did it. Yeah, yeah. getting rid of it. Yeah, and uh, Tom and Anne, thank you very much for the very kind £10 donation from, uh, a quick donation from Anne. Thank you very much, Anne. Cheers, Anne. Oh, cheers, Anne. Cheers, Tom, as well. I think you should always have something that you're trying to improve in your life, right? You should always yeah. have something that you're like trying to beat smoking, yeah. trying to exercise more, trying to eat it's better, like, it's trying like to eat more shit. It's like the ones my dad gets <laughs> now. He's like paying like 15 quid a packet. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's madness. Yeah. 15 quid, man. I remember my old my old granddad. She, he would always uh, just sit there all day and just like he's either rolling the next one or yeah. smoking one. And yeah. yeah, my nan's a bit of a chain smoker, but yeah. she never admits it. See, but... I, I can smoke in moderate. I smoke roll ups, so I can smoke. I tend to think I can smoke in moderation, but I just, you know set, what, a ten, I just set, set a set amount, yeah. and that's all I have every day. My granddad, it. bless him, right, he was smoking cigars okay. his whole life. Wow. Okay, all right. Like, even right up until when he died, he was smoking his cigars. And he he, he lived a long life, you know what I mean? But yeah. it, it is one of them where... See, I always used to think about my uncle and that. My uncle used to smoke a pipe and that. And just thinking, mate, they're supposed to be raw, really bad. Mate, that that's pipe. raw, like tobacco, <laughs> mate. That like proper, just direct tobacco going straight in your lungs and stuff. Like, what's going on? You know? Yeah, I saw a guy the other day walking down the street. Smoking Is it growing a pipe. out a trend? That I don't know. To, it's totally it's growing out a trend. I've not it? seen it for a while. So, uh, huge thanks to Paul Davies with a four ninety nine super chat. Hey all, hope you're all well. He wouldn't normally do this kind of thing, but can you give us a shout out for Paul? He's other half Paul on the tenth wedding anniversary tomorrow. Is yes. it? Yes. Hey, nice. Get in dude. there, Paul. Amazing. Mega dude. All the best guys. Oh, a great one. You going out? Oh, what were you up to? Got to go and wine and dine him now for that. Go to the RVP. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Emirates here, three eighty. Awesome catch. Was Took the early thing? exit there as well, didn't he, Andy? Yeah, I didn't go full length. Didn't go full length. Then. Yeah. No. Nice change. Not early enough for us, though. No. <laughs> I remember when they had the taxiway here closed and um, they was having to, like, route, like thingy back, track back. Brilliant, that was. Yeah, that was awesome. And I think it was the... Um, was it the blue, one of the blue Emirates that, that was on the show that time? I think awesome. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at this view, though, guys. How oh. close you can get to the aviation action here at the RBP. I honestly don't think there's a better view of the A380 in the world. I no. agree. Either here or south side, either way, it's Manchester Airport. Yeah. Yeah, Tina, right, yeah. She said she used to work on the cigarette count at Morrison's and people would spend like £200 without oh, yeah. thinking. Oh, that yeah. was what I mean, because the guy was in front of me and when she told him the price, I, I was just like, I couldn't believe it. I always recall being in like... Um, I think we was in a garda on a family holiday, and we was coming back through the airport in a garda there. And we had, uh, there's a chap there, and he had like going through the duty free, you know, like just a standard size shopping trolley, and that mm. just like, rakes and rakes of cigs in. And he, this guy was pushing two trolleys around. You thinking, good grief, mate! <laughs> which country is allowing you to fly back with like with ten all million? Cigs? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, what's going on? There? <laughs> Just stashing him in his jacket. Yeah, and I couldn't even envisage his shoes. He's about three foot tall. <laughs> couldn't even envisage how much money was in them tills. Like you know what I mean? It was just like a mass, not, mass mate. of cigarettes. Absolutely massive. not. Sam, thank you very, very much for the uh, five pound super chat saying uh, <laughs> just off a smoke before. <laughs> Listen, right? We're not encouraging yeah, don't, smoking of any yeah, sort. We don't. We don't endorse don't, it. Don't endorse that. No, stay away from cigarettes, kids. Good to see so many people have stopped though. Yeah. It, they stopped it, in 2000 and a lot of people jump over to vapes as well I think, yeah, I, think, I think vapes are like not healthy mate no they Me? are not no, good I like I saw a video right online and you know that that classic kind of like smoking thing where they, they get a bottle yeah. and they put cotton in it yeah. and they, they go like this and it, it yeah, smokes yeah, yeah. a cig yeah. and it goes orange yeah of course they did one of them with vapes and I'm not joking, mate. There was fluid all on the inside, all oh. the vapour inside. That's pneumonia, mate. The, the jury, for me, on the Mesics, the, the, the jury's still out, you know. I don't think they've been, like, yeah. mate, if formally tested enough. Mate, if that's in there, that's stuff. water on your lungs. Of course. That, that's, like drowning. That, that is yeah. unhealthy. That's drowning. There's also... Um, and they're dead addictive as well. Sa they? Sam smokes vapes, and she has the disposable ones. Uh -huh. And one day she said, uh, oh, go get us a pack of this vape. And I went to buy it, and they didn't have it in stock. 
And it was like a really common one. Uh-huh. And what happened is they banned them in the UK, really? like this particular brand. I'm like, what on earth? Like if on, a getting, safe, on a safety level like that. If, or? Yeah, well, I assume so. If it's yeah. getting banned, that's pretty... <laughs> you know, that's not, doesn't it doesn't show a lot of faith, does it? Nah. Yeah. Madness. Um, but yeah, staying away from... I mean, it's also the cost as well. Even vapes, they cost money, and cigarettes cost, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's a big, it's a big saving, isn't it? Like hundreds of quid, mm. potentially a month. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, John Michael saying that, how, and it's fifteen pound ninety five for a pack. Of <laughs> oh. It's expensive here in the UK, isn't it? Like, yeah, you go yeah. to like Spain and stuff, and it's... and I think like obviously they're going to keep raising the price with the obviously just keep raising it to encourage people to just stop and that. Do you know what I mean? They just yeah. keep raising it and raising it and raising it and raising it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm but sorry, mate, but when they're taxing something, like, if you, if you want to do the virtue thing and say everyone should stop, we'll, we'll just stop charging tax yeah. on it first and then, you know, yeah. and then tell everyone you, yeah. you, can, you can't, like, you can't grab the, the, the taxes <laughs> and and say, oh, I'm just trying to be the nice guy. Like, just, you know what I mean? You yeah. can't have it both ways. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Singapore, uh, Singapore lined up, ready to go. Yeah, um, the Logan Air will get out before him. I've literally got no data whatsoever. Yeah, she, like that she'll, be headed, she'll be heading off to Singapore because we already had the Houston service earlier. Yeah. Uh, Radar Box has it. Um, also has the Air Transat and the doesn't have the Embraer 145 though. Yeah. But she's lined Apparently, up. I'm totally wrong, by the way, about vaping, Tony mm. says. Mm. But, mate, I mean, I watched the video. You know what I mean? It's, it, it happened. <laughs> I mean, don't like. But I, I, I agree with Matt, though. I think it's just not fully understood, though. No. No, definitely I think, not. I, I, I always assumed it was better than cigarettes, but I don't But don't it's know. supposed to be. That's the whole point of it. Yeah. It? Yeah. It seems it, but you, you just don't know. But And they seem cheaper as well. Sam, Sam has been doing like a kind of just seeing how long in the day she can go without any, you know, like she'll go like an hour, the next day an hour and a half, two hours, yeah. Oh, yeah. three hours. And that seems to help her a lot. I think you do need like motivation as well, like some someone to support you and be like, yeah. right, you've got to do this Sounds today. To cheerlead you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you do this, you'll get this. And, you know, same with exercise and stuff, isn't it? If you've got someone saying like, right, your goal today is this, like I really want you to do this, like. Afternoon, John. Hope you're okay, mate. And that's what I'm saying for this diet. I want to do vlogs as well because me and Sam are both doing this diet as well. Um, and I want to do like a vlog because it kind of also gives me a bit of accountability, but also yeah. lets me kind of document it as well. Still on the steaks, though, yeah. That's it, yeah. A lot of protein <laughs> <laughs> and very, very little carbs. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bit of a hold here on the. Two, three left departures. We got the Singapore A350 900 yeah. holding short of the runway, but also the Air Transat A321 Neo bound for um, Toronto, Canada. Speaking of Canada, we should be getting Henry back in Vancouver live tomorrow evening here in the UK. Yeah, fingers crossed. From 7 p.m., uh, which is 11 a.m. over in uh, Western Pacific. Uh, oh, sorry, Pacific time, should I say, over in the States and Canada. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button. It gives you a notification anytime we go live, if you set the notifications to all. So if we're doing bonus shows, abroad shows, or uploading videos of special catches or news updates or whatever, you'll get the updates. We are basically phone. getting a full lesson full lecture now on e six. Watch the what this what's the like tobacco content and everything here now. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yep. Transit on departure. They're on a race. Look at this race. Yeah transit <laughs> takes the lead. Long transatlantic flight over to Toronto, Canada. Only 247 likes away from 1K. Oof. Let's try and hit that. Come on, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Yeah, definitely. A lot a lot of people have been able to uh, to stop smoking because of vaping, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a big bonus. Because there's no doubt like that is well 
Like, well, bad for you. Isn't it? This Ryanair, 737-800, coming in from Rome. Also got the uh, Pegasus Neo, which we saw arriving earlier. That's going to be, that's just on the taxi out now. The uh, Singapore now uh, entering the second runway here at Manchester. This is the longest flight out of Manchester Airport, all the way to Singapore. Not a bad flight on a 350, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't pick a different aircraft. Apparently the airline as well, apparently the Singapore service is great. Yeah, I believe so. And of course you may have heard that Charlie, Charlie was on the uh, Retro Super Sunday show, he's actually thinking he might be going over to the States on a Virgin 350 as well. Oh. Should be cool. Yo. Is that off to Orlando, is it? Uh, yeah, he's doing like a full tour. He's doing like, Going yeah, he's doing like... A... He said he, um, if we can give him a GoPro, he'll record all his flights. He's doing loads of flights. Yeah, he nice. is. Nice. A few different airlines. He's actually flying on, um, what's the Canadian one? WestJet? No, the uh, one with the U2s, what we saw on Henry's show. Not long ago. Oh, Porter. Yeah, correct. I guess. That'd be yeah, good. he's going to be making a flight on Porter as well. There she goes, off to Singapore. The Ryanair. UK aircraft. Coming in from Mercia. UK Golf on the Reg. Took his time on the rotation with Singapore. Must have been pretty heavy. Yeah, I thought that as well. This is a long flight. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fuel. Nice, Jane, saying she's heading off to Cancun on Tui. I'm guessing you're going to be on a Dreamliner. So this I smoke big cigars with brandy every day. Wow. Living the life. Classy combo. And a Pegasus A321neo on a taxi. This is the brand new aircraft we've seen earlier on in the show. I think she'll be heading back to Istanbul. I can just double check that. Also got a free bird on the short final, Andy. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. Nice. And that's going to be followed in by the, uh, I think it's a Neo. Yeah, this uh, Pegasus, I was going to say fly pigs then. <laughs> <laughs> 321 Neo heading off to Istanbul. Loads of Turkish routes opening up now. I think it's now starting to get pretty warm in the south coast of Turkey. Um, I've, I think I've been in April, actually. And it actually was quite nice. Uh, May was like the best time I've ever been because that was like upper 20s pushing 30 degrees Celsius and it was glorious. I think Turkey can get really warm in the summer. Yeah. Might put some people off. What colour is that tail? Is it like a blue? Like a blue on there. Yeah, yeah. Looks pretty smart actually. Yeah, I like that tail. It's nice. lovely. You just think they'd make the, the name, the title in there the same colour, wouldn't you? Yeah. Smart, I mean, match up the, with the winglets. Squeaky brakes. Uh -huh.
Yeah, blue tail there. Kind of adds a bit of variety to the aircraft. Nice for the spotters to sort of catch all the tails. A bit like uh, the new Iceland Air scheme as well. Take care, Polly D. And uh, City on Twitch, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Clive Hampshire says um, he'd love to follow your diet of you if it's possible, Andy, as he's trying to find motivation after being sat at home for 10 weeks after a knee replacement. Wow. Um, he went back to work and his uniform's a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, I might do some kind of social media updates on it. Maybe yeah. like some kind of vlog. Yeah, just progress reports. That's the, Yeah, because it, it, it kind of helps other people get motivated. Yeah. Helps me stay motivated. Tracks their progress. Um, yeah, I might do that as soon as next week. Oh, yeah, Scandinavian and the glorious new scheme. Look at this, guys. We love seeing this livery at Manchester. Very pretty plane. Just looks really sleek, that livery. It does. I love it. Very modern. I love that, like, silver... The very subtle SAS on the right hand side there with the fuselage. Yep. Mask. Just wow. Definitely a looker. I did look into the um, ketogenic diet as well. That's another option that people are trying out these days. But I'm not a fan of, like, really having to count, <laughs> like, grams of things. <laughs> I, just, I just haven't got time for that. I just want to, like, eat a thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I've already, had, I've already had 12 grams of carbs today. I can't have any more. Turkish A321 about to touch here at Manchester as well. Nice. Another Istanbul service, Turkish flight 1991. Beeping its horn as well. <laughs> <laughs> Some birds in the way, beep, beep. Oh, they are good. <laughs> oh, it's not even a Neo, yeah. It's just yeah, it's a, a standard 321. Yeah. Nice. Bit of variety. Looks like it's got IA engines as well. Yeah, as Lupus says, can we hit 1,000 likes on YouTube, folks? Hit that like button if you're watching on the YouTubes. Helps us out massively. Nice free way to support the live aviation content. Next arrival is going to be a Ryanair from uh, Naples. Wow, that's actually quite nice in the uh, Turkish Airlines scheme. The 321. Yeah. I do like the 321s, like the um, the Turkish scheme on it. I think it looks really smart. Yeah. With the grey going all the way down under the body. Yeah. They do look great. I even prefer that to the Neo, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that, you know. Just a little bit more skinny, isn't it? Yeah, I think it fits the... The uh, livery, yeah, it fits, the, fits it a bit more. I mean, the BA scheme looks best on the Neo yeah. over the standard one, but Turkish, I think, suits it. What do you think, folks, in the chat? Do you prefer the, uh, the classic A321s with Turkish, or do you think the Neo's better? The Neos do have the Pratt & Whitney engines, so we do like that, but the IAE engines on these... They do sound great anyway. Absolutely. Ken P, welcome in. Tuning in from Toronto. Hope you're doing well. Yo, just seen a plane heading off to Toronto. Air Transat. Got the uh, RNE ATR. Just entering the active runway uh, 
Take off runway here at Manchester, 0 5, uh, sorry, 23 left. You on ADSB, are you? I am. Not the only one that's working at the moment. Radar box is working fine. Uh huh. Simon P. Richardson. He's flying with SAS in June to, uh, to Dublin, probably, sorry, Dublin to Copenhagen with his Viking reenactment group. Five days at a Viking village. You can't wait. <laughs> never <laughs> seen all. them before, you Never know. flown with SAS before, but we'll, uh, but we'll, we'll, be, we'll all be flying uh, in the Viking outfits. <laughs> no way, yeah, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> those fantastic. groups where uh, some of them, they like, I've, they reenact like battles yeah, and everything. war scenes oh. and all that. Yeah, yeah. One of my old bosses oh. used to do all that. Like, yeah. I, I'd, yeah, I'd, do, <laughs> I'd do that. Yeah, that's dope. Be a all the gear, all you. the swords, and all that stuff. Yeah, magic. <laughs> Austrian and Brad dropping in from Vienna. You're flying over there, though. You're not rowing, are you? <laughs> One of the <laughs> Viking longboats. <laughs> you, get long boat. you, can't, you can't pick and choose, mate. You're either a Viking or you're not. Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Bloke going around with a whip trying to get everyone to row faster. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns off on the Scandinavian Airlines. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm late, boys. Look a bit tired. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I'd love to go to that. I'd love to just watch it, you know, if they were doing the big battles. Yeah. You're going to get one person there taking that too serious, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to get that one... There, you're right? going to get that one, <laughs> one token person who's going to take everything just a bit serious. <laughs> you know, serious. With a sword and stuff like that, right? <laughs> you <know? laughs> <Just> sword. Stab, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you're going to get that one token person, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Calm down, mate. <laughs> we have three long ships, but no one's up for a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to like, is it? Is it not like, um, like a lake or anything nearby, Simon, where you could, uh, you could go and do like a? I think I think that'd be like the, the best bit. I don't have a big row. I'd want to be the guy sat at the front, you know, the the, the main guy. Or the guy shouting. Yeah. The captain. Yeah. yeah. What, the one that's not Come going? On! <laughs> no. Come on, boys! Not surprised. He's sat there with your drum going, like, boom, boom, boom. He's sat there beating the drum. <laughs> Thank you. <me. laughs> <laughs> row, row, row. <laughs> Jen says she'll row. Come on, Jen. Yeah, Jen loves uh, Whenever we go on holiday... Um, we've been a few times where they've had like a little rowing boat that you can go out on and she loves it she the rower of the relationship well she has a go yeah designated rower well she <laughs> she un unless the wind's blowing and she wants to go and see a castle and I'm the one rowing <laughs> Logan ATR on the way out on the uh, south side not to Aberdeen got a village in Northern Ireland so does anyone like Simon does anyone I'm just trying to think how to ask like does anyone like commit the life to it like live like yeah try yeah. and the only way I can describe it is like the the Amish you know they the completely yeah. they separate <laughs> yeah. themselves don't they from all technology and yeah. everything like that is there anyone who's who's doing a similar thing for that because um I was watching a few videos on that. There's a guy on YouTube, I can't remember his name, but he, he basically travels around to different um, communities and stuff and learns about their way of life and that. And he was doing one with the Amish and they were saying how like good it is because you're completely away from like phones, social media, mm. like technology. Everyone knows each other in the village and that. And they, they're all helping each other. So if someone needs to move house, they all go and help. Chip in and, and like they were saying how, how good it was. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess it's a similar thing if you're into that, that, um, like the Viking side of thing, living in the olden days. Yeah, do you literally take it home with you? All right. And all your house is kitted out and all that gear, like, that's what you want to know. Yeah. Do you live as a Viking or just reenact? Because there are people. It's a part time job. Yeah. They do it for the, um, I've seen a few of them, you know, for World War II. Ah. There's a few World War II clubs as well where people go and there's an event on and it's all themed I around World War II. I think that's what my old gaffer was involved in, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think that's quite yeah. cool. Yeah, I, I do that. That sounds great. Give this a Google when I get home. We're weekend Vikings and our uh, village is a visitor attraction. That's cool. That. Is he yet dropping in from Bill Belt? A319. That'd be great, though, wouldn't it? Like, you all, like, roast a big, like, beef joint on, like, the campfire every night. And yeah. Wash your clothes in the river and all that. You yeah, can bring do... your uh, little Ailey down. And... <laughs> 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 or do they just have, like, port loos behind the house? Like, you can just use them if you want. Yeah, I'm from Bill Bow, A319, Sporty Jet. I think that'd be cool if you're kind of doing, like, crafty stuff, like if you're making your own, like, wooden shield or something. Yeah. Mm. I, think I'd, I think I'd enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. Make a shield. Yeah. Bit of metal work, bit of woodwork. You're right up your street, that, Matty boy. You're right, that knocks a couple of shields up, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, me and Matty are on shields. Yeah. What's everyone else on? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on with? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go on in the chat. What would you all do in the village? What would be your job? We won't yeah. have an army formulated within six months. Yes, yeah. airliners live, Viking army, here we go. <laughs> Me and Matt are on shield. Jen's on rowing. <laughs> I'll bring the OptiGrill and we'll... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just said OptiGrill. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have steaks every night. <laughs> We've been off the land. <laughs> Easy jet in from Bill Bow. Carl's going to be the beer maker, he says. Have a look. Oh, there you go. We definitely need a few of them. You've got one of the most important jobs, he, Carl. He's the innkeeper in the tavern. Yeah, Tony's the fire stoker. <laughs> <laughs> he lives by the well. And Kathy, thank you very much for the two Australian dollar super chat, saying it's $50 for cigarettes in Australia now for a wow. pack. Mental. If that doesn't encourage you to try to stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Terry Edwards uh, wants to build the boat. All right, Terry. You got a nice big boat for us. Paint it red. Yeah. Get our flag on it. And Sony's going to run the port pie stand. <laughs> <laughs> and Loopy will bring the gaffer tape. <laughs> <laughs> this Ryanair, it's just arrived. It's coming from Alicante. Benidorm, wait. Benidorm International. Yeah, yeah. Fine Architect says, My retirement plan is a cabin in the woods in the Scottish Highlands, only water, internet, and electricity, no mobile phone signal, no phone. Um, not entirely off grid, but. Get not, away yeah, from yeah. <laughs> Get away, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jen, I was just about to say Jen would like that. Yeah, she says, I'm going with you. Oh, we've got an artist and designer, Charlotte Lewis, begs you for that. John, John was also saying he had to bin his optical, he never used it. What? What? I literally use mine every day. Mate, we're thinking of an optical for the office. Yeah. You are. John, you should have gave it to us. I know, John, you could have donated that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, right, low key. Our air fryer has not been getting much use at the minute. Mate, my mum's just got one. And she was buzzing about it, sending me pictures of it. Yeah. And um, I did think about it, but... Nah, I just don't, I don't think it's going to be all that. Honest, mate. You know what I mean? It's nice and that. She's like, oh, you can cook a chicken in C it. Certain foods, yeah. And really nice and, and a lot more flavoursome than you get in the pan and stuff. Because obviously some, some of it a lot of foods maintain the flavour in the air fryer. But it's, did it? it's not... It's not all that big. Yeah, I don't know. Anyone else in the chat got an air fryer? Because my mum is raving about hers. And like I say, I'm not totally sold on it. I like that one, Mr. English Golfer. In the village, he'll be the IKEA flat pack assembler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Can I hire you for my house? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it is a Scandinavian thing, yeah. so they, I mean, I'm sure they had it back in Viking times. No Viking boat should be good without one. <laughs> <laughs> Just like some Poang chairs everywhere. Air fryer's on in Tony P's house every day. The air fryer. I used to use mine all the time when I had one. It's just like, I just... Don't know, just I'm just thinking it's just any, like a bit of a... I'm just thinking it's a bit of a fad, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was good, mine. mine. I did use mine quite regularly. Anything like, any frozen food that you'd throw in the oven, usually try it in there and it's usually a little yeah. bit nicer. Yeah. Cooks quicker as well. Yep, Jake as well, 10 out of 10. Air fryer's 10 out of 10, it's used daily. A lot of people use them daily. Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, like I say, my mum's got one that you can literally put a two kilo chicken in it. Wow. And uh, she says it. The, the best thing about it is it does cook um, really quick. That's yeah, the main thing. It's like a time, a time that's, thing. But that's exactly what Pauline just put. We air fry all the time just because it's so. But quick do the cri- do the crisp the chips come out crispy, guys? Yeah. Like, be honest, because like they do get pretty hot. I did tried some wedges once, and they weren't all right. No. Nah, nothing to write home about. I suppose, you, well, I think the problem is you got different different ones, right? Like, SARS was fine. Like, I remember mine was decent. But oh. they come out actually crispy and not... I think so. Soggy. No, I don't think it was soggy. We won't mention that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Airliner's live. PG in the chat. Maybe you had a not a very good one, I don't know. No, we didn't have a very good one, but ours, ours came out not the best. Uh-huh. And it, yeah, it was not the best. JJ, two cuts of spam takes five minutes. Onto the toast, bit of HP, boom. Easy, isn't it? Easy clap. Uh, Ian says, uh, I got a Ninja Jewel one. I think that's the one my mum's yeah, got, Yeah, I think Ian. that's what I've got the there. The Jewel one. Yeah, I've got yeah. a Jewel one. Uh, you like I, I assume you mean never look back and not use the oven since, save loads on electricity as well. Yeah, Ian, yeah. that's what my mum says. She's I not used her oven for yeah. ages. And that's another thing about it. You do save a lot of power because it's like way smaller. Yeah. Is it yeah. worth it, chap? Is it worth it? I'm you think thinking, man. You've got an electric oven, have you? Yeah. You yeah, so you'll save your electricity if you use I know, but an air fryer. But obviously, like, you have to buy the air fryer. So. Well, flying out, it's a bit of fortune for my oven, and I don't see why, see why I need anything else. It eats up in minutes and cooks quickly. Well, yeah, yeah, you never know. I mean, it's worth something to look at, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, she is uh, She is definitely on the uh, on the air fryer hype at air the moment. Fryer hype. Sending me pictures of what she's been cooking Literally in Literally cooking everything in it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, mate. That's one that long ago. Something, I can't remember what Heidi tried to cook. In. I can't remember what it was. Oh, that was it. Yorkshire puddings, like... So she tried, cook, like, making her own. Mm. Yeah. And she had, like, the foils and stuff. So she put, like, the batter and stuff in the foils and stuff. And then I th- totally th- think she forgot the concept of how the air fryer works. Yeah. And it was just blowing, like, all the trays and everything. All around the air fryer was just, like, <laughs> batter and I was just stuff flicking everywhere. Through. The last message she sent me was, Oh, my God, roast pork and crackling done in the air fryer in one, one hour. hour. Oof. And that crackling looks good, Tell doesn't it? What, son. That looks it does, look, like does that. look OP, that. There you go, that's your next purchase then, isn't it? Wow. Oh, mate, I don't want to buy any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't, don't even have one now, but... Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of air fryer hype. Everyone seems to be uh, in favour. There you mm. go. <laughs> More in favour than vapes. <laughs> 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 I was laughing because she sent me a um, she sent me a thing chat right. My mum's um, in a house in uh, in like the out in the sticks in South Wales, and um, it's got an arger in it. All right, one of them old things. Yeah, and she sent me a picture. She said Rich tried to she, he made bacon rolls on Monday, <laughs> right? And bearing in mind this is Wednesday now, I'm getting this text with hash browns on the side. Uh, he gave the rolls out but left the hash browns in the arger, and, and that was them, guys, on Wednesday. Not <laughs> <laughs> that, that, innit? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I asked her, how, how did you not know they weren't in there? But you just, because it's an arger and it's quite a slow cooking thing, and they're right at the back. <laughs> didn't know they were in there. Uh, Lingus, uh, regional, heading back to Dublin. Well, it's got an aircraft on final approach as well. Let's have a look. What's next? Yeah, Martin, we talk about everything on this channel, mate. Yep, you're everything. allowed to talk about whatever you want, mate. Whatever you want. How boring would it be if we told you what you had to talk about? Yeah. 
<laughs> not here, mate. <laughs> not in prison now. <laughs> <laughs> Next arrival is a Ryanair UK, UK India. Heading uh, UK India is in the, the letter. I was going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, coming in from Krakow in Poland. Can we see her? Uh, there she is there. Afternoon, King Cab. Welcome in, dude. Hope you're doing well. He'd be good in the uh, the Viking village, wouldn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just sat there on his throne, ordering people around. <laughs> cutting people's heads off. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Tina. Thanks very much for tuning in. Cheers, really appreciate Tina. it. See you, Tina. And Paul uh, on Twitch, thank you very much. Tuning in from Denmark. Hope you're well. And Mehmet, great to see you in as well. Pinging up on the ground, we do have the... Uh, Turkish uh, Airlines, uh, which has actually just disappeared, but the A330 was pinging up for a moment mm -hmm. as we uh, draw towards the end of today's midweek show. We are going to be back live on uh, Sunday for your Super Sunday show on your bank holiday weekend. Back on the apron. Yeah, apron cam, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> hope. <laughs> from the wonderful historic city of Krakow in Poland. Big destination in the Christmas times for their Christmas markets. Don't any of you monsters use a frying pan? Hey, I know my way around a frying pan, Michael B. Thank you very much. Yeah, glad. yeah, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> like it's whipped out here and there. Gents, we have the uh, Welling A3 uh, A320 Neo is the next arrival, and then the Qatar I think, is going to be the arrival after that. Awesome, and Carlos, thank you very much for uh, tuning in all the way from Brazil. Hey, welcome, Carlos. Wow, Peter says, uh, won't see you Sunday, but I'll tune in from the East Midlands. Nice one, Peter. Thank you, dude. Okay, Pete. Uh, Bashini, hello, welcome in. Uh, no, we don't catch the Emirates A380 going back out um, during the summer. We catch it departing in the morning and arriving mid-show because uh, it doesn't go out uh, till late because of the uh, change of the clocks plus the Emirates time. So, uh, yeah, we're lucky if that's out before sort of quarters to three these days. Yeah, and in about two months' time, we'll be having the... Wednesday show in the evening as well. When the, yeah, uh, I can't wait for that. I'm hyped for that. To be fair, like it's still like lighter eight these days, isn't it? You know, like yeah. So we're just waiting on the RVP to extend its hours. I think it's June. I think it'll be over. Yeah, late. I think yeah. it's the beginning of June. Yeah. Yeah. So not even two months. Just just over a month away. Kirsty, thank you very much for the two pound super chat saying it's my birthday today. Great hey. stream. Hey, happy birthday, Kirsty. It's also my sister's birthday today. A big shout out to Abby. Let's get some happy birthdays in the chat, guys. All the best, Kirsty. All the best, Abby. Have a great day. Happy birthday, all. What's Abby up to? Do you going out and out? Do you um, do anything? Quiet one. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure what she's uh, what she's doing. Planned? She'll. Uh, I'm sure she'll be spending some time with some friends, no doubt. Is that Vueling A320 Neo coming in from Barcelona? Poshini's just woke up from the night shift. Always a pleasure to see us guys live. Always a great start to. Always a great start to start the day off. Nice. Cheers, Bashini. Nice to have you here. Hope your night shift wasn't too uh, too tiring. <laughs> Andy just picking up with well in there. I feel like as I get older, night shifts seem even more hard to to achieve. You know, when yeah. I was younger, I think I could have done them, but no, we used days. to do them all the time, didn't we? Yeah, I used to yeah. do them like practically. Most of the time when I was younger and stuff, but mm. yeah, Heidi still does them. Obviously, looking for yeah, them. yeah. I was like looking at Captain Mark, like that. That guy will be in the airport at like four a.m. Yeah, you know, one, one day, and then a few days later, he's getting back to the airport at four. At four. <laughs> like, yeah, literally, 
Yeah, it's that's, like, a, uh, that's a big sh- shift, isn't it, in time now? I know, like, and you're working these long days as well, and it's it's likewise for most people who do night shifts. You know, yeah. they'll do long shifts. Uh, ERB, no, he wasn't. He wasn't arrested. <laughs> Don't worry, he wasn't arrested. <laughs> I think a little bit of a little bit of exaggeration in the uh, in the old title, but hey, we, we've all done it, haven't we? <laughs> and look at them engines, folks. What are they? Or was he arrested? Ch- was he? Go and find out. Yeah, Rx see. Channel. <laughs> and Vicky says, "Hi guys, you got a new fan? My kitten Ron." Oh. He keeps swatting the planes. <laughs> nice, Vicky. Yeah, I remember when R2 cats were younger, they, uh, they love it, but now they just sit there just staring at the telly. <laughs> or, uh, or falling asleep. I'll show you the picture, Vicky. I did show this on last week's show, but I'll, sh- <laughs> I'll show, show you, see as though you're a cat, cat person. Of, uh, <laughs> Harry watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute, chat as well. Stand by. Um, Andy, you're, we might have to DM you that. Okay. Um, I said that, is, over now. that is funny. That okay, is cool. funny. I don't even know what. Hold on, don't send it in yet because I want live reaction on the okay. camera. We've got a triple seven coming in. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll have a look after this. Let me find the, the picture for you. I love that guy. Oh, man. Uh, here we go, chat. So there's, let me make sure I'm not leaking any numbers. Um, there's Harry, one of our two boys. Oh, he was, hey, we were interested in the show. Having, in the the show day. having a kit, what, with the planes on in the background. But usually they are quite well behaved, usually watching the show and that. <laughs> if you do want to follow the airliners live cats, see what they've been getting up to, um, then on Instagram, search for Harry and Theo. Harry and Theo on Instagram, where Jen uh, posts all the latest pictures of him. If you want to, uh, if you're a bit of a cat person, there you go. And if you're a Viking person, have we got the picture for you coming up, chat? <laughs> what? Have we got the picture for you? Oh, I'm glad you didn't pick the fat one for me, Jake. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Six pack there. Mate. Mate, looking <laughs> fresh, huh? You got you don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> <still>. <laughs> Brownbill's toned Is up Paul there. Is Paul still in the chat? He'll love this. Brownbill's toned up there. <laughs> Brownbill's <laughs> not looking impressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moogie, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime, dude. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And Kermit as well, dropping a Twitch Prime on the channel. Legends, guys. Mate, that Qatar uh, got off easy, didn't it? Is it yeah. going to get off in front get of us? going to get off right in front of us here, this. Come on, easy. Easy peasy, come on. Should them reverse as quick? No. No. It's weird how it rolls on like that, isn't it? When... Right, while that's rolling on chat, I'll show you the uh, I, I don't know the what... picture of the last time um, all of us here uh, did our Viking experience. This is a uh, this is a picture from it, guys. Here you go. Yeah. Bosch. Not so long ago, that, yeah. Mate, yeah. looking fresh there, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can them Vikings, proper Vikings, look? <laughs> I've got the stream on, so I'll see this. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's not even photoshopped either. Well, as well. No, that's, no, that's, 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 that's what I mean. That's the best part Guys, about it. 20 I don't remember him pies a week, and that's what you get. <laughs> I actually remember him taking that picture, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do as well. <laughs> <laughs> Easy jet crossing the active uh, arrival runway here. Yeah, get involved in the VIP lounge for more. Quality. Jake Jackson content. Yeah. yeah. Jake Jackson is the resident memer, guys. Yeah. He is the quickest yeah. at making Photoshop memes in yeah. the world. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for Jake, who always gives us a good laugh in yeah. the VIP lounge coming up with them. Cheers, mate. That was a good laugh, that. Cheers, JJ. <laughs> if you ever feeling down, just look at a meme by JJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You do make me laugh. Oh, 
looked at him past us the beautiful well in my opinion the most beautiful of the Qatar Ibis yeah looks nice just so clean and maybe the retro though oh. the retro yeah obviously that goes without saying but compared to the grey uh, earth frames this is yeah it's a big step up from here this and pinging up on the taxi, it looks like it's shifting around as the Turkish A330, which will be our last hey, departure cool. for the day. Nice. Easy Jets and Ryanair's on the arrivals now, guys. It was nice to see the uh, 200 on the uh, Sunday show. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? That, really that nice. 200, yeah. You can really tell the difference, like, in the uh, fuselage length and that. Yeah. Really, really tell, but it looks, suits that lively as well, you know. Hey, cheers, Robert. Thank you for tuning in, mate. Have a great rest of your day, dude. Cheers, Robert. I think this is just like their default livery now, isn't it? Going forwards, because it seems like all their new additions just get this livery. <laughs> Sonny on Switch says, uh, it's amazing what a game of squash will do for your body. <laughs> <these days." laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Andy obviously topping up his tan in Malaga. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Peter. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Peter. Yep, we're here, Sasha. I hope so. Yeah. It certainly looks like it. I found Tadim back out to Paris. An easy jet behind. Andy Taylor returning to Premium Economy membership. Thank you very much, Andy. Welcome back. Cheers, dude. Also got the uh, KLM Embraer about to uh, land on 23 right. If you have enjoyed uh, today's show, help us out, guys, and just click that like button. It's completely free to do and it supports the channel a lot actually uh, so if you can click the like button we'd really appreciate it and uh, thanks Julie glad you've enjoyed it today yep another way to support the channel is by uh, way of super chat or click the uh, coffee link coffee link which you'll see often in the chat as well and thanks to all the new VIPs that have signed up today and for the gifted memberships join today's show yep. cheers guys Smooth touchdown from the Embraer. Yeah. I do like the Embraer's and the KLM colours. That, that kind of swoosh that goes down the body looks nice on the... Yeah, it is smart. On the E-Jets. Oh, no way, Fezza. Saying that there's only 81 followers away from 5K on Twitter. Oh, nice, dude. Wow. Yeah, make sure you follow us on our socials, guys. We post on Instagram, Twitter... And uh, you can also keep an eye uh, on our YouTube community tab, which is uh, where I'd recommend you get used to using as well. And if you're into the Simulate series on Airliners Live, we're also on Twitter. Search for Simulate AL. So that's at Simulate AL. And uh, as I said in the beginning of the show, John's put out our first impressions of the ATR that's just released from Microsoft Flight Sim. Yep make sure you go and check that video out if you've not done so already just love John, John's honesty on them videos they're, yeah. they're straight to the point in the end yeah. I think it gives a good of, opinion of like a broad range of people who play sim as well you know yeah yeah I, th I think he's doing a great job Fezzer. Yeah. and Alex thank you very much for the two pounds super chat saying caught the last half hour on my break nice one dude hope you've had a good, uh, a good break at work and then uh, a good rest of your day as well Yes. Also, the A380 touching down earlier as well in the stream. This is Emirates Flight 17. We'll be going back out in about over an hour, probably. Uh, it's back to Dubai on Emirates Flight 18 as well. Speaking of lights, we're only 65 away from 1K. There we go. Easy, easy peasy, guys. As we wait for the... Uh, we wait for the... Um, Turkish. Turkish A330, which should be on the way out, hopefully. Is that just pinging, or is that starting to move? Well, it looked like it was moving, but um, we'll it, double check. It yeah. definitely has moved, unless there's a fault with the uh, with the old radar. 
Mm. Yeah, and we've had Alex Porter, who's been a member at Premium Economy for nine months. Love the stream, guys. Well done. Thank you very much, Alex. Legend. Cheers, Thank you, mate. mate. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, the Turkish can sometimes be pinging for a while before they start I to move. I think so. it's actually pushed. Back. I thought so as well, but we'll nice. check. Yeah. Yeah, got an easy jet. Looks like a yeah, it's on taxi now. The uh, Turkish three thirty. Amazing. Just taxi. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get that out uh, to wrap up today's show. And uh, again, thanks for everyone tuning in today. Apologies, we couldn't bring you Matt Cam. We did our best, yeah. uh, but Matt came over and got involved in the commentary as well. And uh, we'll take him to the cafe as well for, oh, for the journey. Look at that. You can't, yeah. can't not that. Like Anything you. you want. But yeah, um, <clears throat> something that was out of our control, sadly. But um, Yeah, it was. I mean, we were in touch with support. I was trying to get it done as quick as possible. But yeah, unfortunately, it was uh, too late for today's show. But it is fixed already, ready for uh, Sunday's show, where we'll be bringing you Apron Cam. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, great addition to the shows and there's lots more potential as well i love apron cam because it actually adds a lot more to see yeah on the regular shows so just just a retainment in it like when when nothing not a great deal is happening on the actual airfield you can yeah yeah like i mean we've mentioned it before like when you get to like east midlands and stuff it's nice just to watch the ground ops going on you know like the yeah, yeah. The, the aircraft getting turned around offloaded unloaded taxiing as well is a big deal yeah. and here at manchester airport you can't really see the apron properly from anywhere other than over when you go over there specifically to see it. Mm-hmm. So it makes a nice extra dimension to the streams. And yes, yeah, tune in 10 a.m. on Sunday, Super Sunday Show, home of the Super Sunday Show. I was even tempted, guys, to make some kind of like merch about the Super Sunday Show because that's like our flagship show. That's a good it? idea, man. That's a yeah. good idea, mate. That's like our flagship show, isn't it? Like, imagine like a Super Sunday poster. With, like, the <laughs> Manchester Tower, maybe. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, really good show. That's a good talk. Hey, maybe. Sasha, thank you very much. Sorry, Andy, for the £10 Super Chat saying here's a little donation for the best channel ever. Hope you're all okay. Thank you so much, Sasha. Yeah, we're thank doing you. well. Thank you. Hope you're well as well. Cheers, Sasha. And people, uh, I'm about um, to make Andy's day. A few people logging in from Southside, watching them from over on Southside as well today. Claire Cavan is over there. Oh, give us a wave. Yeah. I'll, Ash Pollen's over there as well. Legends, guys. Who people hanging about over on Southside? What's about to make my day? A certain uh, workstation has been shipped. Ooh. Oh! Okay, mm. yeah. Video to come on that very yeah. soon, guys. Yeah, that's, right. that's huge. But big I, announcement. I, I, Can't I, talk I, about it at the moment. But yeah, the Turkish 330, guys. Just yeah. on the taxi. God, that's, that is a big thing on the channel, guys. Mate, you bet you're hyped for tomorrow, no way. Oh, eh? uh, <laughs> Working Friday now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> Free, free overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for a bit on Friday, maybe half a day on Friday. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've not really been in I, much I, this I, week, I, have I? I? <laughs> Missed Monday. Usually Monday is like our super productive day. Yeah, but you put your holiday form in, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it's all uh, good. Uh, yeah. Not going to dock, get docked. <laughs> and uh, Anthony, thank you very much for the £1 super chat supporting the channel. Thank you very much, Anthony. Really appreciate that, mate. Cheers, Ant. Absolutely, Anthony. Listen, you say just a little, mate, but there's 2,000 people in the chat. So uh, you can see how that will quickly add up if everyone sent a quid in, mate. So yep, we nice. really do appreciate it, no matter how big or small, for the support to the channel. Thank you very much, dude. Thanks a lot. Size isn't everything, unless it's your TV size. Yeah, unless the, it's 4K. Uh, a bit worried, then. <laughs> <laughs> the size of your TV. Is Jet Neo. Got to pass the RVP as well. Yeah, let's have a look at her, shall we? Do love a Neo here on the channel. Oh, we've seen her earlier. I guess that's not come from far away. Let's have a look on radar. No worries, will do. I'll try and remember that, Tony. I'll do my best up. But um, potentially, maybe to make things easier, Tony, just because there's so many people in the chat, I know you can change your name on YouTube if that's of interest for you. If you'd like us to call you Tony, then... uh, then there is an option to change your name, I think, after you've uh, after you've signed up. Yeah, just so that because I'll be honest, mate, I I may forget because uh, yeah, usually I just pick a message from the chat and just read it out. I will do my very best, and yeah. thanks again for the donation. Really appreciate that. Legend, and yeah, that EasyJet was in from the Isle of Man, so that's why we've seen it earlier in the show. It's really not a long flight. That mustn't be more than half an hour, that flight. Yeah. Yeah. when's my PC being sent? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know when, when you ordered it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and we've got the Turkish 330. They're just edging, slowly, slowly edging its way on to uh, 23 left. I know, talk about retention, eh? Mm. <laughs> Keeping us waiting. It really is. Turkish Airlines A330-300 heading back to her home in Istanbul. I don't know what it is, but every time, it, like, especially from 23 right, when the Tur- when the Turkish 330 is taking off and that. Oh, it's, it's just screaming. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, t- we'll turn it up, I think. Just the vibration as well you get from the... Uh, Another Tony joins the club exactly. Uh, yeah. Tony squad. <laughs> Any other Tonys in the chat? Hey Carol, hope you're having a good day at work. Hey up, Carol. Hello, hello. Always got to finish on a high, and that Turkish 330 is definitely a nice one to finish on. Exactly, Ben. Yeah. Perfect. I agree. Can someone say shark? Let's it's on my bingo card. Shark. There you go. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> There she goes. Bit of a turn and burn. Still feel it shaking this tower for even when it's on the other runway, you know. Nice, and Steve's got it on at work on the 1080p screen. He's got a 55-inch 4K for the replay at home tonight. There Get you go, in Steve. There, lads. What Bosh. a way to do it, mate. Legends. Well, guys, thank you very much for a mega midweek show. Again, thanks for sticking with us at the beginning whilst we had a few things going on. But, um, yeah, it's been a mega, mega show. Great way to end it with the Turkish 3.30. Good to have Brownville back on the sticks as well. Mega. And uh, big thanks to Matt again coming down. Sorry we couldn't get Matt Apologies, come on guys. Today, Sorry about guys. that. But, um, listen, it's back, it's working, it's ready for Sunday. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Henry's live tomorrow, Thursday, hey, Vancouver. Yes. So make sure you tune into that. He did have an awesome show uh, the last few weeks, so make sure you tune yeah, in. Yeah, Henry live from 7, 7, 7 p.m. Yeah. UK time. Yeah. yeah, 11 a.m. for you Vancouver residents. Yeah. Uh, for everyone who's gifted subs, become a VIP today. Sent in Super Chats. Thank you so much for supporting the stream today. Twitch Primers. Cheers, guys. Anyone who's joined us and supported us on Twitch today, really do appreciate it. Yeah, um, thanks, guys. And that's it. That's going to wrap us up on this midweek show. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to get back and hopefully get a nice 4K video out for you by the end of the day today or tomorrow morning. Keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it. We're done. Ladies and gents, thanks a lot. We'll see, see you, you tomorrow. Time. Hopefully, guys. See ya. See ya. See ya.